Alright, hello and welcome back everyone. It's time for some more Crusader Kings 3. How are you guys doing today? How's it going, Carcinogen? How are you doing today, Trizak? <laughs> My goodness, Trizak. Trizak's prepped and ready. <laughs> oh, remember, remember, we're we're ready. Oh, hello, why are we okay? That's right, they took Galicia. Remember, we're ready today to try and take Italy and France. Oh, it's going to be good. We're going to have so much power. Yesterday, we took over West Francia and uh, Great Moravia, which now this, the guy in charge of Bavaria is too strong. <laughs> yes, he is He is too strong. This is a problem. Uh, we're going to have to get that sorted at some point. Um, but we, we've now completely encircled Pomerania, so their time is numbered. Their days are numbered. Um, but we don't have any good claims, yeah. And the best one we have is for this duchy over here, which isn't bad. And we'll probably go for it at some point. But, um, I'd like to go and grab Italia first, if we can. And then we'll go for Francia second, if we can. Um, and then we can take a look at trying to take all of the remnants of Sweden. Yeah, because we can do a holy war for... Oh my goodness, that's bad. I think we can get a better Holy War than this. <laughs> Take the Kingdom of Sweden, but it's actually not much. Uh, if we go for the... For Lappy, what can we do? Kingdom is this. Kingdom of Sweden. What? Is the other one Duchy of Sweden? Kingdom of Sweden. Kingdom of... Wait, huh, what? The Kingdom of Sweden. Okay. Oh, is it over just the lands owned by the Kingdom of Sweden? Maybe. Yeah, it looks like it's just... Okay, it's just the lands owned by the Kingdom... Within the Kingdom of Sweden's territorial space. Okay, I see, I see, I see. I see, I see, I see. Not the actual... Then we'd have to go ahead and just revoke the Sweden... Kingdom of Sweden title. It wouldn't be too hard. Um... Okay, I see. I see now. <laughs> Jeez. There's still a lot of territory we'd get from that. Um, I don't really want to go too far east. I think I'm pretty happy with our eastern border being kind of this hodgepodge where it is right now. And let our vassals go and do a little bit of absorbing on the edges. Uh, but definitely Italy. Uh, definitely France. And then maybe the Byzantines? Can't holy war over anything. You just deserve to claim this. Which isn't bad, it's just not amazing. <laughs> That's all. Let's see here. Alright, so we're doing Chronicle Writings right now. Okay, which, uh, this will let us... Looking to a public county. Okay, so we'll be able to... I guess we can go for an entire, uh, ducal claim ourselves. If it's owned within a, uh, territory of a kingdom. Counties within kingdoms will be able to war for. Let's try and see if there's anyone in here we can still try and nab. There are. Oh, yeah. Alright, so we'll probably do another tiny war in here real quick. Because I think this guy's still alive for a while, right? Right? The guy we need here. Ooh, he's 15. He's a dwarf. Okay, dwarf doesn't hurt your health. But he's a drunkard. Tiny health penalty. Hmm. We should probably do this sooner than later. We don't want him to die out. Um, his claims are unpressed, so he's not, it's not going to get passed along, unfortunately. So we, we are going to need to go and get this sorted before he dies, because it's not going to go to his heir. Ugh. How's it going, Sleepy Blade? How have you been? How's life been treating you? Oh my goodness. Haven't seen you in a bit. Um, if you have time, there's a... Uh... Joint, uh, a jaunt, just jaunt over and take the UK. Yeah, I think we'd have to go after like Wessex first, and it would be like piece parts and pieces because luckily it's all split into a lot of tiny, tiny parts. Uh, actually, if we take Italia. We go ahead and we take all of Italia. We'll actually take the <laughs> we'll take the entire uh, southeast of England. That's pretty good. Uh, but then we, it looks like we could go and uh, war a lot of little people for a lot of little places. Which should be nice. Except them. I don't have anything for them. 
And them. That's probably not for them either. Yeah. That's just to probably have some. No. Okay, never mind. Ireland? Oh, yeah, that makes sense over here. Also down there, too. Uh, but yeah, we can go to war for small territories here and there uh, within the Isles when we're ready to. We can definitely do that. You just woke up. Hello? Welcome, Dalka. Sounds like you got all your beauty rest. Nice. You're not doing so good, Sleeper Blade? Oh, no. But hey, here you are. Hey, that's what's important. That's what's important. At least you got up and you're going through your day. I will lose territory when a vassal dies. Here. Luckily, it's not too bad. Who owns this? It's under France. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> if we take over France, then it doesn't matter. Uh, but it really just means this guy here. We need to go and arrange a, a marriage between him and a courtier or someone. Um, uh, it was like a relative age here. We can find a courtier. Uh, courtier. Ah, yes, here we go. Here's a courtier. Yeah. God of it. Wow, what a, what a motto. God avenge me. <laughs> uh, we can take her and him. Uh, he's gonna love it because it's a high chance of getting a really good uh, son. So go ahead and have that happen. Uh, just so that he's prepped and ready to have kids. So when she comes of age in 10 years, bam, we get to go. Great. Uh, sleeping it today, uh, it's late enough that you need to sleep. All right, sleep well, Sleepy Blade. <laughs> sleep well. I appreciate that you popped by and said hi. I, I really do appreciate that. We'll see you around. Uh, what's up, Danica? Realistically, uh, it was more of an I'm done with being functionally an adult today <laughs> kind of sleep. Okay, I gotcha. Nice. I was like, eh, nah, not today. Um, I kind of want to go and clear this out before anyone else tries to take it. Uh, we can just do a ducal war here. So we're just going to go ahead and just do this, like, immediately. Yeah, might as well just... Let's start off with a bang. Let's get right into a war. Why not? Blam. Um, can we get in the war with you, too? Nice. Well, it didn't reset the music this time? Really? Well, then. Okay. Get you guys over here. Get you guys up here. Alright. Let's get two wars done here. We'll just clear out this center territory that we've got. And then uh, we'll jump on Italy. And probably we'll probably do like the war on Italy and some tiny territories. And then the war on France and some other tiny territories. Because we got to take them tiny territories before Pomerania tries to take them, or really anyone. It's just, it's just we might as well while we have the opportunity, yeah? Yeah, I have a feeling you'd be pretty happy with... Oh, no, she's eight. Perfect. So that means he doesn't have to wait too long. He only has to wait eight years. All right, eight years, and he's got a... Uh, he's got a lady. Nice. Very nice. <gasps> a scandalous pope? Oh my goodness, the transgressions! We make the pope our rival if we condemn his transgressions. We can defend him and he likes us more, but we lose piety and prestige. Or, you should just try to be silent about this and get stressful because we're impatient. You might just not say anything. <laughs> you might just, uh, well, you know what, defend him publicly, even at your own risk. I mean, what has he done? What, what was he doing? What did he do? What what do you do? Apparently learned that the Pope himself has been keeping a list of whom of all whom has never wronged him. Wait, what? Have ever wronged him? Detailing in numerous ways of his plans to get back at them to satisfy his lust for rage. Yeah, we're gonna defend him. I want him on our side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're gonna we're gonna defend him. This courtier. <gasps> oh my goodness. He's taking my son as a lover. Well, I mean, you guys have two kids together, so. 
I mean, sure, but also, your wife- Okay, your wife's 14, you can't have kids yet. I understand your impatience, but I mean... Come on! <laughs> Kerbard, come on! Stop it. Oh, wow, that's a lot of troops for this group. I'm actually impressed at how many troops they have. We're just gonna literally gonna siege this, and then that'll be the end of that. Get these 20k troops over here, and we'll span out. Oh, they're gonna lose a lot of troops trying to fight this- <laughs> Trying to, to fight the Duchy of Orle. Well, that's unfortunate for them. Oh dear, they're on the list. Yes. And the Pope checks his list twice, Trzak. Checks it twice. Um, yeah, just study the body. Our nephew has the smallpox. Well, that's not good. Isolate him until we can figure out a remedy. We do have a... Uh, eight teams. Anyone any better... Than 18 for being our caretaker. Uh, more 18s, 18. Anyone? No. You, sir, though, I do demand your conversion. I saw a couple of people that aren't following the proper faith. Or was it just them? Just him. Okay, follow the proper faith, you. <laughs> Come on, brother in law. Get that sorted. Good gracious. What's up, Danica? You started uh, doing calls for your. Um, you started during calls. No, doing calls for your CPAP machine. Turns out you can't uh, just go. Hmm. You have to do at least two, and then let them decide. Oh, okay, so they 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 have to. You have to give them options. You can't just give them one. You have to give them options, I see. Mm. Oh, we can just use Zerk Poland. That's mine now. <laughs> Take that title. Thank you very much. Alright, so what happened to Poland when we stripped its title? So it fell apart into two duchies, it looks like. Nice. So we can try and go to war for that. Cool. Um, we'll try and get Poland's kingdom interspersed in here so that this guy doesn't have so much power. Yes, <laughs> he has too much power. His taxes are reduced. I'm not his rightful liege? What? Heresy. We'll have to sort that out. That's not good. What that's all about. Alright, let's get our troops up here. We'll split them up into a couple of groups because these guys have Essentially, no troops left after they lose that. Split. This group goes here. We just want to make sure we don't run into supply issues if we can help it. Yeah, they got 4k, so. Um, they've got better troops than we do, so we'll go ahead and leave these in two 10k stacks. And we'll just let the siege begin. Run and take over. What? Who is this man? You? You? Spineless Paragon, believe you can be my steward for 25 years? I say nay, sir. I say nay. Oof. You really can't murder people with compassionate. Ugh, life's hard. <laughs> Being compassionate is hard. Oh my goodness. Um... Educate child. I will educate this child. Can I do the same for Galaxy Brain as well? Educate child. Do I have a slot? Yes. I will educate both of these childs. Both of my children's. This one's gonna be huge. And this one's just gonna be smirt. It's gonna be great. Uh, but we need to make sure they're not compassionate. Still be good. Try to seduce him. Easy. Also, what'd you miss? Uh, we're going to war with these little territories here and here, and we just usurped the uh, title of uh, Kingdom of Poland, so that's good. We're going to go uh, wrap this up here, then we're going to go for Italy, and then we might go for a couple of tiny territories in here, and then we're going to go for Francia. Um, and then after that, we'll go for more tiny, tiny territories in here, try and shave off whatever small piece of Pomerania we can, probably the space over here by Friesland. Um... And then we might go north, or we'll go north. <laughs> Probably just go north. Um, yeah, Tyrol is expanding very well. Very well indeed. 
What about the King of Bavaria? He's getting too strong. Um, the King of Bavaria is getting really strong uh, because we used his claim on the Kingdom of Great Moravia to take that territory, all of this territory here. <laughs> it's made him really strong. Um, so we're just going to have to pay attention to that. And once we get this guy, using this guy's claim, because it's one guy who's got the claims for... Now we can't see it here. Because we're at war, but uh, our troops are raised. Uh, there's one guy who has claims over both Francia and Italia. So uh, that guy's going to be really powerful as well. So we're going to have to sort them out and try and split up that power and have each person have one kingdom title if we can. But we'll see, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. In the meantime, we'll sit here, wait, watch. I'll grab some tea. Let's go ahead and I'll make a spot of tea real quick. I mean, I'll, I mean we're literally just going to raid these guys. Or uh, siege these guys. There's, there's no reason for us to do anything else. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Yep, more people have lovers. We'll go and blackmail them soon. But we don't need to do it quite yet. Oh, hold on, I'm pouring my tea. I know what popped up just happened. Hold on. Smallpox? Oh no, that's that's bad. Oh no, fine. Okay. Whew. Only our nephew got smallpox. Nice. And it looks like he recovered. He didn't die from it. Excellent. Oh. Yeah, he didn't die from it. Perfect. Died from our wounds. Wounded. Okay. Very nice. Bring your greed to conversion. Good. <laughs> you better. You better, sir. Okay, so, again, once we see, once this thing's completely sieged down, we'll win this one. It doesn't matter how many territories they siege. This is all we need. Uh, in the meantime, how is our... Okay, we're still getting claims going. We're still changing culture. We're slowly getting some more power back. And we're also looking for secrets. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Uh, I think well, we need to hold on to a lot of our prestige to actually go to war for these. I think we can only go to war with one. Then we have to wait for our prestige. I think it's like 3,500 uh, 3, to go to war for a kingdom. Um, prestige that we're going to end up using. So we're going to need to stockpile a bunch more prestige here. So I can't um, call in claimants or... Ooh, it's 4,500? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, in that case... Uh, yeah, we definitely can't do either of those. <laughs> All right, we'll barely have enough in a moment here. Oof. Ah. Good old Thrust McHuge has become curious, Trizak. Thrust McHuge is curious. Uh, your nephew might be scarred from uh, smallpox? Maybe. He might be. That's fine. They'll look, they'll look manly. It'll look like he got shot by a bunch of arrows. It's fine. <laughs> and survived. Uh, keep looking for secrets, please. I'm sure there's still secrets out there. Uh, I want you to move to this berry next. Or rather, move to this berry next. There's a lot of baronies here, jeez. <laughs> We're just gonna siege everything down and we'll we'll take them. But I think the capital is all we need to take. Yeah, I think he's in the capital. So once we take that, we'll be good. Should be able to seize him from his bed chambers. Why are these guys split? That's weird. Hmm. Doesn't seem like a powerful tactic. Ah. Excellent. Nine days. Crush them. They're gonna come in here and try and stop us from uh, doing this, but uh, too little too late. <laughs> that's a uh, that's a solid victory before you manage to go and trounce us. Nope. I'm gonna come over here to this barony and start sieging this down. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and lower all your troops. You've got no choice now. Oh yeah, we just captured. Uh, who is this? Is this his son? Yeah. I think... Oh yeah, sexy man yonder. It's his son. We got sexy man yonder, nice and locked up now. Oh, let's go ahead and move you here. And again, he'll be sieging, but at some point, when he tries to get in here and unseach his own territory, we'll just jump on him with our massive stacks of boys. So is it we got what one, 
two, three more to go for. A celebrity, nice. We are now a living legend. Ah, yes, do it. Do do the thing. That land should be mine. I think it was this one. Revoke title. We can't take it from an ally, but we should have the claim there. Perfect. Okay, so we'll just move on to the next. We're just going to continue to get the claims for these, and then at some point we're going to have to sort out not being an ally with you. Uh, personal, hostile. How do we break being an ally? <laughs> we might have to murder him. What's it going to take to murder this person? Oh man, killing Prince Player Nunu -Nu would be really, really tough. Oh my goodness, why are you married to our sister-in-law age 51? You guys are going to have zero kids. Oh, she loves us. Hmm. I have to sort her out. So see on the council, fabricate claim, blah, 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 retract to get. <laughs> you guys have to be happy. Hmm. How do I get out of being in an alliance with him? Is there a way to get out of an alliance? Claim title. And a title held by him for ourself. Use level of splendor. What's this? Yeah, yeah. Level of splendor. So we'll lose, we'll lose 150, but we can just take that. But no, no, we just get a claim on it. We just get an unforced claim. That doesn't mean anything. Yeah, we just get an unforced claim. That's all. It's not helpful because we can't take it from him because he's an ally. We might have to sort of get rid of our half-brother quiet-like. All up and quiet-like. I'd rather not kill him, but um, you might give us no choice. We need that land. It is what it is. I don't think towers are being built. Good. Good. Continue the upgrades. More money. The ransoms. Oh, I think I just ransomed the guy that we weren't supposed to ransom rant. Oh well, we'll leave this guy here just in case. <laughs> just in case that was the one. Just in case I didn't ransom the important one. Looks like I didn't ransom the important one. Perfect. <laughs> it worked out. Stewardship skill. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and get war profiteering because we're going to be at war a lot. That's going to be more important than taxman right now, but we'll get taxman next. No children is... Yeah, he's not going to have any children either because he's married to a 51-year-old woman, yeah. I mean, if I could, A, not be in an alliance with him, and then... We're overwhelmed with stress, that's bad. But, on the bright side... We're going to crush these guys. <laughs> it's going to be nice. Grip my teeth and force a smile. Yep, grip my teeth and force a smile. We'll sort out the stress eventually. We're just gonna go stomp on him. With as many troops as we can. Oh, he thinks he can escape. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho. Little did he know he was very wrong. Eleven thousand troops against two thousand. Doesn't matter how skilled his troops are, we're just gonna flood him. We're just gonna flood him until he's done. And that should be a victory right there. There we go. There we go. Bam. All right, dismiss the troops. Ah, nice and clean. <laughs> Tyrol is nice and well set in our territory now. Very nice. Uh, is there a way to keep your key territories going to your, uh, keep your 
uh, yeah, your key territory is going to your heir. It just kind of sucks that you need to spend so much time getting it back at the beginning of your reign. I think now that we have designated our heir, it's going to help, but I don't think it's perfect, right? Um, the Empire's Law of Succession is still, yeah. So we'll uh, divide up equal, equally between your children. New titles will be created uh, for younger realm heirs. So, no, we're, we're still stuck with it. Uh, we can't change that style unless we want to go to an elective style. So there's, there's nothing we can do yet. There's nothing we can do yet. So the thing is, as soon, if we can keep working on our, um, our research here, and we finish up with these remaining four, which will be another, like, 40, 50 years or something of us pushing through, probably 40 years, uh, to get this stuff researched. We can then get to the high medieval, right? And once we're in the high medieval, if we could do, um, what is it, divine ruler, right? With this one? Uh, heraldry, here we go. Heraldry. We can then get uh, high patrician. Under high patrician succession, the lion's share of titles go to your player's heir. The rest will be divided between your children. So we'll be able to hold on to more of them. It'll still be split, but we'll get to hold on to more of them. Um, so we need to get we need to get all the way into high medieval, and then jump on this, and then we'll be good to go. Actually, it looks like we can start doing that whenever we want. Is that right? Oh yeah, we can. Weird. Okay, I guess we could start now if we wanted it really, really badly. <laughs> uh, is there anything in here we care about? Because if that's the case, we could just start, right? Uh, development can get above 35. Doesn't matter, we're not that high. Naval speed? Pfft, okay, that's not important. Uh, this thing will be done in two years at its current rate. It'll be four years if we don't. And that casts belly prestige cost goes down by 10%. It's going to be nice. Horseshoes is one I definitely want to do, but it's seven years out. Um, yeah, let's just start research on that on our own. We'll start our... Okay, perfect. We'll start our own uh, heraldry research. Perfect. Let's jump straight on this. We'll get uh, heraldry done as quick as we can. All right. So in 20 years, uh, when we are 67... We should okay, so we might be able to get that researched and law changed over before we end up losing everything again. So that might be pretty good. Might be able to do it. Let's finish ransoming some people here. Ransom the law all out. Designate a guardian for sterile. Sterile, you can be. Um. Why don't we have? Let's get some good... You know what? Yeah, let's, let's have our wife take care of you. I'm going to take care of Sterile. <laughs> Man payment from the Duchess. Lawfully imprison you. We're in line for inheritance. We can go to war with a lot of people. Uh, when it comes to you, you're, what, 10 and she's 9? Yeah, you'll have, you'll have plenty of kids once you're of age. It's fine. Not worried. Um... Our mother died. Oh, that's oof. Our, that's what caused our stress to go up and over. Uh, I see. I see. Um, and we're still waiting two years until we can do a feast and one year. Wow. Well, yeah, yeah. A year and a half. Before we get that done. All right. Um, and if we go here, we go to Domain, go to Lyons. Nope. Nothing to upgrade. Nothing to upgrade. I don't care about this one, so we're not upgrading it. Nope. This one we can go ahead and we can upgrade. Get hunting towers. Um, we're not going to upgrade that one right now. Oh, we own Paris. Well, we'll hold on to it, uh, because we might as well. We're not going to upgrade it. There is no points. Although, I'm kind of curious. Paris, what, what do we get? Oh, Notre Dame. Oh my goodness, the taxes. Those taxes, whoa, taxes, taxes in the county, development in the county, your realm, stewardship level of devotion, oh my god, per level of devotion, <gasps> what? 
maybe we keep <laughs> maybe we keep Paris and we make Notre Dame. Well, it's only money, but also the thing is that um, we get additional piety and we get monthly renown, and we can get up to what four or four. Yeah, it's four. Um, Paragon of Virtue is the fourth level. Yeah, five. So we can get five stewardship for that. I mean, it's only money to build it. Oh, yeah, yeah, It's only money to build it. It just means we have to keep that territory, which we, we will lose Paris. Let's be, let's be perfectly honest. We will at some point lose Paris because of the way of inheritance. Because of the way the inheritance laws work. It will happen. Let's get her in prison. Here we go. Good. I'm gonna go ahead and force some money out of her. We'll ransom her out. Lawfully imprison this one next. What does she say? She's a renegade. <gasps> There's a renegade in our county. Draco down. Yeah, we can only go for one of them, so let's go for Italia first. Go and take all of Italia. Yeah, I'll just go for all of it. All right. Uh, since there's a little bit of Italia up there, but most of it is on the peninsula, so it's good. We're gonna have to go and fight the Farnese as well at some point here. What can we get from Farnese? One territory. Not ideal, but... Oh no, they actually only own two. Okay. <laughs> For some reason I thought these guys... We're gonna have to go sort them out at some point. Jeez. Oh my goodness, what happened here? Let's see of Columbard. Or, Col wait, not Columbard. Coimbra? Secret... Coimbra? I actually don't know. I don't know this one. I don't know that duchy. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and let's raise some troops. Where? Of course. Right here. Um, we're actually capped out on this, so really, really quick here. We're going to destroy our Omegar group. Bam. And we're now going to go get uh, Mangalos. Because they give us 0.3 per day instead of 0.2 per day. So it's a huge upgrade. I'm going to create Mangalos. Man Manganels. Manganels? Where is uh, Manganel? I think Manganel is doing well, right? Where is Manganel? Where is Manganel? That's a good question. Let me get the let me get the child name list up here too. I know Manganel was made. I know Manganel was born. Alright, right. Uh, must have been a brother or a, or a sister then. There she is. She's doing well. She's 12 years old. She's doing very well. <laughs> there. So we're upgrading to a significantly better siege uh, engine. It gives us 50% increased um, like uh, sieging rate, which is going to be really good for us. Um, so that's, that's what we need to jump on to. Um... So we'll get them, and then at some point we'll get trebuchets. We only have five of them right now, but they'll they'll build up as we go. Uh, we'll just move straight on here to Spoleto. Um, and we'll go ahead and grab another group. And this group here can just move straight into Roma. Actually, Roma's in entirely impossible to siege, isn't it? Let's, let's, go, let's, let's go north instead. <laughs> Rome is always an, a nightmare. Like, trying to siege down Rome is a nightmare, right? 
Getting these kingdoms over here, really? In Genoa? I guess that makes sense. Oh my goodness, this thing's gonna be huge. We're gonna definitely split this in half. Strike a deal with Chief Mason. That works for me. And Mary? Oh, finally, good gracious. So this, again, there's a chance of inbreeding, but also a chance for some really strong kids. There's a chance for some inbreeding, but there's a chance for some really strong kids. And if we just disown all of the kids with bad traits, we'll be fine. Right? <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm sorry, you are born with what? Only one, uh, one head? Okay, you're fine. Oh, you're born without a face? You're disowned. <laughs> Nice, we got a cooperative mason. It's nice, all right, so construction times. We're barely gonna use it, it's mostly the control that we gain that's good from that. Um, are we getting, are they grouping in? They are, perfect. Right, these numbers are going up, right? This one just saw them go up. These guys are fighting someone. Or at least at 13 out of 80. <laughs> it's getting slightly better. Um, let's get her in there. Get to work, please. Perfect. Okay. Uh, these guys, we're just going to split you in half. Grab this group here and... <laughs> let's go get them. Oh! It's this king. Actually, if he dies, that would be spectacular. If he ends up dying, that would be... Arguably great news. Because he has just too much power. Oh, that's unfortunate. We're going to lose a lot of troops going around in circles like that. We'll split them again. And I'll have these guys go over here. <laughs> split up again, please. <gasps> Say it ain't so. It's a bastard. Yeah, we know. We know. We know. She's 14 and she's betrothed, it's fine. It's fine. Split. Have you bring it over there. All right, we're just gonna siege a bunch of territory if we can here. And we'll use this guy as our main, main move forward. Is chat frozen? Nah, it was just a quiet night. Oh, are they really? Really? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what their th I don't know what the thought process is, but we'll ensure we take them down. We'll just go stack up entirely here. This way we can ensure we have a little bit better. Um, we'll kill more of them when they're routed. So hopefully we can try and remove the entire stack here. Looks like they'll still have a thousand when they die. Yeah. Just merge them together as one. It's fine. Yeah, I don't know what they were thinking. That doesn't. That didn't make any sense to me. Uh, yeah, we can speed in Spoleto here. Uh, we'll scoot up here to help them out, I guess, and then we'll just help them with the siege afterwards. They're being very aggressive, even though they really shouldn't be. Like we're still winning even with our massive disadvantages. It's kind of weird that they're doing that, but okay. We'll get them in here. Get the seed to going. It's even more bastards. What? <laughs> Finding a lot of bastards. Good gracious. How's it going, Jolly Lad? How are you doing today? Welcome. There we go. Go ahead and speed this one up. We got a small breach. Good enough for me. They've got such a low troop count that, I mean, we can just spend bodies, really. Hope on this person's expired. It's fine. Down here. Okay, more siege. Uh, a lot of people are starting to expire. Dicey, why would you attack me there? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. You're crazy. Uh, oh my goodness, yeah. Contraceptive would have been wonders in the Middle Ages, for sure. For sure, Jolly Lad. It would ensure that we wouldn't have nearly as many bastards. 
Uh, the thing is, they just have to do, they, they, really, they should just be doing a better job of being, of making, oh my goodness, a lot of them. Uh, they really need to be doing a better job of keeping it quiet, you know? I think that's the main problem that our lineage is currently having. That's the way it was done back then, is you just keep everyone nice and quiet. Wow, we just lost like, lost like 6,000 troops <laughs> making this siege here, this quick siege. Yikes. Unbelievable. Uh, like, are both of your children bastards? Are you serious? No, okay. Be gracious. Good gracious. I really need a new one here. He is really bad at his job. <laughs> uh, what's, it gonna, what's it take to remove a man? Good enough for me. Uh, we do have to watch out because our stress is very high. Very, very high. Uh, scheme power. Bribe. 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 And bribe. Should get us up to 95 secrecy, which is what we care about most. There we go. 95 secrecy, 95% chance of success, which is the highest we could possibly get. Uh, uh, do children out of wedlock lose the right to rule? Um, not necessarily. You can... You, you can decide if you want them not to. Over here, this barony here. And while we've been sitting in this uh, conquered territory, we've grabbed a couple extra mangalels. That's good. Actually, you know what? Help these guys out. Yep, lost a couple troops there. I'll help out with a siege. More people are exposed! Oh my goodness. Exposing everyone right now. Let's bring some her. We can go ahead and get this dynasty leader to help us, but that hurts our splendor. So there's no reason for us to do that. Uh, let's go over to Hooks. Oh my good gracious. Are you serious? Prince God Emperor Letter the Third. What is this? Illegitimate child, illegitimate child, illegitimate child, illegitimate child. Seriously? All right. <laughs> All right, he's had four bastards. Good gracious, sir. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh wait, we're compassionate. I just absolutely put us into 100% stress. Well, I mean, if you're in, in, for, you know, in for a yard, in for a mile, right? Um, I forgot we're compassionate. The, like, so no matter what, we already... Yeah, we're heavily stressed here. Uh, blackmail refused. Yeah, we'll let them know. No. Um, you will become a confider. There we go. <laughs> sort, sort out our stress. Oh my goodness. Um, I must exercise uh, the devils with a naked run. Hurt our fame and lose a level of fame, but lose a bunch of stress. Sorted. That's fine. We can we can become uh, the living legend later. That's fine. Alright, our stress is sorted. Phew. Done. <laughs> could have been pretty bad. That could have been really bad. We could have just died from a heart attack there, but we're okay. We're okay. Everything's gonna be fine. We're son done? You died of the bubonic plague. Uh-oh. Where? Okay, that's up north. Phew. Oh my goodness, but that's in our it's in our realm. Went over stress level three. Reset the stress. Perfect. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> okay, sorted. Um, not too confident. This man, he's Cathar, a friend. 
Invite our friend to court. Get in court, my friend. Okay. Change your religion, my friend. <laughs> Get that sorted, please. Perfect. Alright. We'll confess to him. Ease my mind. Oof. A lot of people lose our opinions of us. Yikes. But uh, we'll feel better. Our stress is now pretty sorted. Okay. And sharing your problems with the close confidence. Being able to manage life. Yeah, yeah so we're, we're better now. Uh, just everyone's unhappy that we're not confiding in them. It's fine. Uh, your contract is fine. Oh, wow, really? You dislike us because of the high taxes. We don't really need the extra taxes, to be honest. Exorbitant taxes. <laughs> Give me all of your money. Um, yeah, we can just we can we can drop this back down. We only lose three point four percent of tax. It'll make him like us more. And again, money isn't that big of an issue. Not with the way we play. Just make sure that we don't have issues there. Uh, you, you're fine. And then now we go to criminals. Just grab this criminal, and then we'll go to demand payment. I demand payment from you. Right, nope, we're already in criminals. I demand payment from you. I demand payment from you. Now that you're not, now that you don't have to give me as much in tax, give me a huge upfront sum of cash. <laughs> right? Oh my goodness. You're the most stressed out man in all the world. We were for a moment there, that's for sure. Uh, if you were born on a wedlock in wedlock in medieval England, you would have the same rights to rule as if you were born in the marriage. Oh, really? Interesting. You should uh, get one of your counselors to work on getting everyone to like you again. Yeah, I've got one of them working on that right now. Um, she's currently working on domestic affairs to increase direct vassal opinion. But it's going to be a while before the, you know, it, it bears any fruit. It's going to take a little bit of time, unfortunately. Uh, we'll see. Hmm. Um, ooh, levy volunteers. Or willing volunteers. Nice. More troops. Good. Good. It's gonna take us time just to try and slowly see this thing. Oh, did they? Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> For them, that's awkward. They've got a populist uprising while we're trying to take the entire nation. Nice. Are they seriously attacking us with 500 troops? What were they thinking? The Duchy Spleta just got <laughs> all their troops completely demolished. Doesn't make any sense. I'll quick siege in there. Are they bringing more troops in here to just instantly die? Benevento, what are you? Okay. <laughs> just gonna say, Benevento, what are you doing? That done? Oh, it's our son! Brand new son! Oh my goodness, Prince Jeff. Another perfect specimen. Not a giant. Not a giant. But still good. Still good. Still happy with this. Um, in which case, uh, what is the son's name? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, here we go. <laughs> here we begin. Alright, ready? Gracious, you guys, I swear. <laughs> Name's too long. Uh oh. We'll just do the right arm of the, for of the forbidden one. That's that's fine. We can't, we can't, it got too long. We couldn't have everything in there, but we can at least do the right arm of the forbidden one. The right arm of the forbidden one. 
of Tarul. That's one done. That's one done. <laughs> one done, five to go, right? We need five more kids to get that done, right? How old's our wife? She's 37. Oof, she's gonna get a little close trying to get it done. Oh no, she's ill. That's no good. Oh, scandal. Honey, is there anything I can do to make you feel better? No. Powerful vassals, courtiers, get some money for development, encourage developments. We have max control in Innsbruck, yeah? No. Here we do. You're working in here. Yeah. Innsbruck's already uh, completely maxed. Increase defense, and let's save for now. Every powerful vassal and every courtier. <laughs> yeah, we'll have a great, grand, absolute epic dinner. Perfect. Well done, my wife. Well done. Well done, my cousin's sister-in-law wife. Well done. <laughs> right, let's move on to the next one. We're at 35% now. We continue to slowly fight this down. Still maintaining our 95% for success. So that is good. Alright, we'll let time continue to pass by. <laughs> Just have to go hit like these little groups here and there. I'll have to keep bopping them down as they keep popping up. I really need to take this territory from you, and I just... I want to get out of an alliance. <laughs> invalid? Oh! What? Our war was just invalidated? Are you serious? Oh, what a loss of prestige for nothing. <laughs> well, that sucks. That sucks. Okay, well. The bird trainer. Too risky. No, no need to do anything special. We can just wait for him. Well, we're just going to have to wait until we get another 4,000 prestige. The populists are sieging Rome? Are they serious? Oh my goodness, and they're winning. Two more years and they'll have sacked Rome. Rome is actually starving and has a rampant disease. <laughs> Rome is not doing well. Uh, can we go to war with the Fornese? Nope, we just don't have, we just need so much more prestige. Ugh, that sucks. It'll be a while till we get some more there. Uh, we're gonna have to sort that out. Um, easiest way for us to acquire more prestige. Uh, let's go ahead and, what's this? Leave your court for any reason. Okay. We'll grab the tuple in. This is Betrothed Mary, Juta, and Udu. That's fine. I don't mind. <laughs> Let that happen. Perfect. Oh, the wait. Um, go back to council. Uh, we're gonna have you work on getting my prestige up. Thank you. <laughs> Extra one prestige per month, please. Perfect. We need to get some more events going. Uh, I need to go to... Ah, good. I need to go on a hunt, and I need to go have a feast so we can finish getting this lower, and we can uh, sort out having no prestige for some reason. <laughs> Take that, Pope. That's for not letting... Uh, that's for not picking up that book. Uh, right, gracious. So I'll take that prestige. Thank you. We just need more events to give us more prestige right now. Uh, anything that gives us prestige is pretty important for the moment. Okay, another 150 prestige. Imprison this last one. Perfect. <laughs> just anyone who's fornicating within our empire outside of wedlock will be put in jail. Alright, so we went from max stress to two stress. To two out of 300 stress. Doing well. Prisoner died. Well, she was a melancholic for fornicator. What do you expect? Had a good conversation. Yeah, we'll probably take that over stress. I could befriend someone. 
Oh, yeah, friendship doesn't hurt. Let's do that. We're at zero stress now. That's good. We have enough to go to war with some people. <laughs> we can do some tiny wars. We can go after some of this tiny kingdom territory, then. It only costs us 100. Or we can start using up our piety instead. I think I want to hold on to our piety for kingdom ones, which costs a little bit more. Well, it's only 600. Oh, we'll just do this, because it's only a 100 here. Uh, you own just this land. And I take all of this in a duchy war, county war. We're here. What about you? Nope. Worms. Seventy-five to seventy-five. We can just do a county one for like essentially no prestige. Or no piety rather. So look at that. <laughs> so go war with all these. Can we get this one as well? Grab you. One hundred. Perfect. Alright, so we'll go ahead and get these four territories, and then we'll move on to the next. A couple of wars at a time here. A couple of wars at a time. A couple of wars at a time. As long as we can continue to expand, I'm happy. As long as we're still expanding, I'm happy. These troops over here. Raise the remainder of troops. Move them up here, and then we'll split them out in accordance to the other two provinces. And we'll just sit on those provinces, take them, and be done. Be quick and easy. We just have to siege one barony each. No one has more than one barony. Well, now you got a city. Might have to go get that city as well. Depending. Do we have all of our mangalels? Not quite. But more of them. Oh no, an old friend died. Ah, well, there goes some stress. It's like they're going to go off and start sieging. <laughs> good, good luck. Have fun with that. Oh, we're a famous rebel. We're great. It'll help our prestige. Because prestige goes up from having uh, high diplomacy. Uh, here we get plus 22% from our diplomacy. Good gracious. Look at all this. Pretty good. Uh, yeah, take him out. Get rid of this man. I need a better steward. <laughs> Gone. Dead. No one knows it was me. Perfect. I need an actual decent person in charge. You know, get it done in months instead of in years. Good gracious. Ugh. Finally. How's it going, Stormy Snow? How are you doing? I'm doing well. Hopefully you're doing pretty pretty good this day. You're doing quite peachy keen. Let's go, Macros. Long day at work today. Oh man, wow. At least at least the day is done. Yes, the kingdom is looking very well. Uh, we were about to go and try and take Italia, but then, uh, the war became, um, what, inc it's not inconclusive. Inconclusive? Maybe. Um, invalid. It was an invalid war after a bit. The person we were warring against died, someone else took over, and something, something, something. We can't take it anymore. Makes me sad, but it's okay. Because we went, we cleared out the little territory that was over here, and now we're gonna start picking up these territories in the interior because we have to wait until we have more prestige and piety for us to actually get into big wars for big territory. Uh, if we want to get the big territory, we really need to get that sorted. Ah, that's 9k stack. Just move it over to worms. And as soon as this one's done, we'll just move it to the north and we'll be good. And this, uh, four, this four war will be done in no time. Uh, what's their opinion of us being aggressive? Offensive wars t minus 21. Ugh. And we have to wait six months. <sighs> uh, being the main attacker in a war usually uh, will gradually cause your vassals to like you after six months. Civil wars and great uh, holy wars are excluded to this. Uh, once no longer at such a war, the penalty still decays. Oh, okay, never mind. Yes, press that claim. Perfect. Uh, he's going to hate us for us constantly pressing claims, but eventually we'll have to revoke titles, and by that I mean we're going to have to murder him. <laughs> Blackmail. <gasps> Blackmail for what? You know I was King Richard's killer? Um, uh, I accept your blackmail, sir. Oh my goodness, what's wrong with this guy? Is Sodomite? He's a flagellant and he's frail. Whoa. <laughs> He is vengeful, zealous, and compassionate. 
Yeah, I can't be exposed as a murderer. I accept your blackmail, sir. I accept your blackmail. I can blackmail him back, though. <laughs> I can blackmail him back. And I will. You want to blackmail me? Ah, uh, I will blackmail you in return. You try and make a move against me. I dare you. I dare you. And we'll take you down. We'll take you down. <laughs> Double blackmail, I know, right? Good gracious. Let's go ahead and speed that up. Crush them down. There we go. Perfecto. And let's move on up to the top, ter top territory here. Go ahead and finish this war. Bam. Welcome to our empire, small nation. <laughs> small county. Welcome to our empire. Move up here. We'll probably end up sieging this one first, and then we'll take these guys and bring them in here, and this one will finish up second. Comfort from a friend? Oh my goodness. Our son has comforted us. We feel so much better. We have 18 more years on that, and we have three more years on that. Good. Oh my good gracious. Come on, Wolfgang. <laughs> Wolfgang of Tyrell is uh, being a naughty boy again. You doing well? You just finished breakfast? Nice. What'd you have for breakfast? What was breakfast today? Tax man going. Effectiveness of taxes up 25%. Pretty good. Lose a level of devotion. Nope. Can't afford it. <laughs> Get him in jail. A prisoner and daughter. No, she's a fornicator, so, you know, as you do. Uh, negotiate her release. We can banish our daughter. I'm not doing that. We can have her take the vows. I'm not doing that either. She's 24. We're just gonna let her go. We need to, okay, we need to go marry off some people here. This is a problem. <laughs> we need to go marry off some people here. Ransom you. Uh, Udo, we can go right uh, demand payment. We'll keep the other guy. We'll keep Duke, this Duke, in, uh, under our under our boot, just in case he tries to do anything fancy. Um, marry people. Here we go. Uta. All right, Uta. We need to get you married. Um, matrilineal marriage marriage is a requirement. Some sort of inheritable trait would be perfect. Our nephew. But doing a lot of inbreeding, maybe. Family might be wide enough at this point that we can do some inbreeding. Hmm. Go by age. Oh, she's just 24. Let's find someone similar in age if we can. Nephew and knight. Really, we just need someone who's smart. Is Zabra play kill, uh, player new? Nah, it's still in red right there. This guy in here. He's an intelligent boy. They're also inbred. Dang it. <laughs> Why is everyone inbred? We're going to be inbred if we do that. I mean, he, this is who we really should do. Like, inbred, yes, but, um, yeah. Let's get that done. Betroth those two. Uh, when he becomes of age next year, we need to get more giants in the family. Yes. What's up, Stormy Snow? Your girlfriend told me she wanted to be treated as a princess, so you married her off to a stranger in Poland to strengthen the alliance. Ah, uh, good, good. All for the all for the cause of the empire. Very good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Lock her in her tower until you can get a marriage put together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, who else do we have that we can do marriage for? Uh, our daughter of 27. Actually, no marriage. 
my rank and file. Let's go and get, oh my goodness, get Hotwig. Okay, so he's kind of a dissonant relations to the family to try and get intelligent back into the family line there. Good. Altman. Altman, I feel like we should just get your cousin in here, honestly. Again, chance of inbred, but we're just gonna get your cousin. Like, we're gonna have you marry your cousin. I guess it's gonna go well. Oh my goodness, Yonder Jr., we need to find the best person in the world we can find for you. Matrilineal marriage. Giant. <laughs> Our son. I mean, we could have. Should we do this? True, she'll be really old. How old is this kid? He's four. Oh, good gracious. This 12 years out, she'll be 36. It's not gonna work, but we did literally be able to make the perfect, the perfect human. This is the perfect setup. We want this. We want fecund. This man doesn't have fecund, and this one doesn't have giant. It would've been so close. So you decided to see if the modern-day Habsburgs look well like Habsburgs, but you couldn't find much. Nah, they probably bred out of the uh, <laughs> the issues of the past, yeah? At this point, Habsburg family line. I mean, the Habsburg family line was so big. <laughs> I, don't, I wouldn't be surprised if they managed to get themselves sorted. Let's look at, let's look at this by age. Uh... We can get albino in the family. We can get giant and albino in the family. So get in here. Yes. We want albino, giant, fecund, beautiful, intelligent, Herculean men in our family. This is what we need. Yonder Junior. We believe in you. We believe in you, Yonder Junior. You can do it. I know you can. Robert, oh geez, everyone's finding out that we've murdered people. Oh, this is really bad. I really can't afford for us to be uh, <laughs> outed here. So we're gonna end up in some trouble. People are gonna start asking some favors. Uh oh. Uh oh, some favors are gonna start being laid down, which might mean we have to murder some more people. <laughs> so we might we might have to cover these um Culture Change Bavarian? Nice. We might have to uh cover up our murders with more murder. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, here we go. Get these French to be changed on over. Takes them three years. Got it. Um, I need this territory as well. So how do we how do we break an alliance? Does anyone know how we break an alliance without murdering someone? I'd like to avoid murder if we can. We won't finish this soon. We actually are going to stall out on this siege. Def diplomacy. Nice. Yeah, it looks like we'll just barely win it. Yeah, we're very close. Uh, you don't understand me. My favor is letting you live. Right? <laughs> right? Oh my goodness. <gasps> he... Went Cathar. I demand you change your religion. Raise his eyebrow, waits for him to say no. Mm. 
we will pay the price in my world. Yes. Excellent. Oh, you. I'm allowed to revoke stuff from you now. Oh, so unfortunate because you resisted. So sad for you. <laughs> Perfect. I will jump on that as soon as we finish these wars. Nice. Everything worked out just as we needed. Let's get you down here. Finish up this war. Bop, bop. Done. Uh, how are our vassals thinking about us in terms of war? Offensive wars are at minus 24. Yeah, we need to get these wars resolved. Um, my concealed title revocation. Wait, what? The vassal, I am claiming that what I am owed, I expect you to publicly uh, cede your rights to punish me. What? Growing forgiveness for your crimes? What? <laughs> oh, I guess, I guess it's, um, we can't punish him for doing something wrong. He used his claim to, uh, his blackmail to be like, I didn't do anything wrong, Liege, see? See, I'm fine. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Does anyone know how to how you can change from Merchant Republic to Feudal in CK2 without much hassle? That I don't know. Because more people keep our God, geez, stop finding out. <laughs> stop finding out I murdered people. How are they figuring this out? It really sucks because it's a strong oh no, it's a weak hook, okay. How's this a weak hook? Should be a strong hook against us. I guess there's no solid evidence. I guess there's no solid evidence. It's a breach. Prepare for war. Where are we going? Jerusalem again. For goodness sakes. Can we give up on Jerusalem and sort out the important things like Spain? Here, I'll finance you. Here, have money. Give me, <laughs> give me piety. That's fine, whatever. There's troops over here. I missed war. Perfect. Let's finish this one. A scandal. Scandals, they never end. Merge up these troops, and we'll finish up the siege. Three days. There we go. Bam. And four new counties have been added to our realm. Just like that. So I don't know how we're going to get mains, but we'll try and grab it some point. Not sure how we're going to sort that out. Well, actually, we might just, might just, might barely maybe. No. <laughs> tried. I tried. Alright, well, he likes this a lot. That's fine. Uh, we can continue to absorb more territory soon. Let it be for the moment, though. Uh, you mass revoke titles and suddenly you're a merchant republic? Wait, what? You mass revoked titles and suddenly you're a merchant republic? How does that even happen? I didn't know you could do that in CK2. What? That's crazy. Yeah, okay, so we're just gonna revoke all your titles. Good sir. Boop. Bill percent chance. Really? Alright. Down the original is he really down the religious round? I guess so. It's a diplomacy guy. He's a great eminence. Oh, that's not a... Oh, it's not a thing. It's a different thing. Okay. Aha, okay. You're over your allowed territories by one? Yeah, we're gonna be over our allowed territories by a lot in a second here. <laughs> but you're right. I should go and drop one of these ones. Uh, we can drop worms. I don't need it. This is not needed. Uh, culture... Bavarian. And who doesn't own anything yet? Ah, uh, you, my good man. Nice. You now own territory. Well done. 
All right, brother. Give up this territory. Give it to me right now. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> oh, you... Oh, you refuse? Well, that's so sad for you. Because, um... I... Really recommend you give that to me. I really, really do. I really, I would really recommend you just hand it over. <laughs> uh, Malige, uh, besides you do owe me. Oh, he's knocking down our uh, levy con um, contribution. It's a blackmail. That's fine, whatever. As you demand. Whatever. We'll have to sort that stuff out later. When we get, um, whenever we get more black, uh, like, things here, we should just check, make sure these are all normal, and nothing, nothing's ticked at the bottom. Yeah, so nothing and nothing. Ransom you. Ransom for you. Oh, wait on him, he doesn't have enough money yet anyway. Let's see if we can jump over here real quick and grab him. Good. Finding out more secrets. Uh, do we have any better commanders? Ah, me. No, we're the same. Okay. Or no, not me. That's someone else. I'm almost as good. I'll have you jump in here and trounce these troops. Always start sieging over here. Yeah, I'd like to continue to upgrade that territory. Tasks are being completed. Good. Uh, more control in Alpsy. That is our territory. We do own it. Okay, cannot be fired for 25 years. Would you pick Chancellor? We're gonna have to go and learn how to fabricate claims on people. <laughs> I think is what we're gonna have to do. That might be like our only go-to way to resolve this issue. Let's get over here and start sieging that down. We'll probably have to jump out of um, stewardship in a moment here. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll get... Um, we can change out now, can't we? We can. Uh, let's go over here and let's do truth, truth is relative. Um, as well as, what, Dark Insight and Divine Retribution if we can, or Dreadful. Um, let's get over here and be a little bit more aggressive. Yeah, let's just get Natural Dread and just calm people down a bit. Let's start working on some Intrigue here, and then we'll jump back over to Money Making. Alright, we have enough, but if we can if we can get our Intrigue to be a little better, we'll be, we'll be okay. Uh, there's a mod to revoke titles, and you can choose to revoke titles from all infidels. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> it sounds like a very dangerous button to press. It sounds like a very dangerous button to press there, Storm Snow. <laughs> ah, that's right. That did knock us down in how many territories we can own. That's fine. I don't mind. Let me toss this away. Bavarian man who currently owns nothing. Own something. Congrats. Betrothed can marry. Perfect. Uta. Have have a great marriage and make some really, really, really big babies. <laughs> we need like some huge babies. We need some big babies. Um, yep, in prison. Fornicatus. Fornicating all over the place. Uh, we can ransom her. She's got money. She can pay herself. She can get out, and that's fine. Okay. These troops are probably gonna run out, like down into Trent, likely, and then they'll run back up and try and take Innsbruck. We'll take them out shortly. Not too worried, we just kinda have to wait. Marshall guidance. Oh my good gracious. Wow, the popular opinion. Wow. Okay. 
for how long? Offensive war makes him sad. Yeah, we're not in an offensive war anymore, so we should start having this decrease because we're in a defensive war. Or I guess this is, um, it's not a defensive war, it's a civil war. So, uh, it doesn't hurt us. So we should slowly start catching up. Cannot imprison him. He is currently fighting us. Okay. Oh my goodness, we can just siege this immediately. We already have a small breach. Okay, no three months, how about just, a, you know, two weeks. Or just two quick weeks of sieging. Uh, yank him out of his bed chambers and uh, call it a day. Oh, he wasn't home. <gasps> Can't believe it. All right. Well then. Our stress is pretty well handled. Let's go ahead and blackmail a few people here. Twenty-six, so we can do. So we're at twenty-six. We can do two others. We'll have to wait. <laughs> we can't just can't just blast it out, or else we'll get overstressed. We'll have to wait a little bit, get our stress back down, and we can go do more. Get more money from the Pope. We can demand a little bit of money. Good. Very wise. Let's go ahead and siege this small breach. We'll lose a bunch of troops, but again, I'd rather get this done sooner than later, since this is what's going to really give us a lot of power to be able to stand up to our larger vassals. So we really need to get all this land back. As soon as we get this land, we'll be in good shape. 61%. Back down here. It does stink because it's going to hurt these guys. We will have to sort out the religion. I forgot about that. Oh, 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 what is all this nonsense religion? What happened to our beautiful Catholic swath of, of glory? What ha what happened? Oh my goodness, it's disgusting. Cathar is literally everywhere. We have to get this resolved. Um, Pope, what are you working on? Stop it. Um, I need you, I need you to go and fix this. Like immediately. Like immediately. Uh, get over here first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Work on that first. Because that'll be territory we own. Uh, and then we're going to go... Oh, my God. Oof. Ugh. Ugh. Can't believe it. Look at all this heresy. <laughs> so much heresy in here. We're going to have to go, like, on a holy war for our own territories. <laughs> Good gracious. It's going to also take him, what, years, right? Yeah, 15 years. You're literally worthless to me. I'm gonna actually blackmail this guy and get ourselves stressed, it's fine. It's gonna be fine. Okay. Yeah, 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 we're stressed out. Yeah, 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 I know. Man payment. Give me a bunch of your money. Um imprison him, tyrannically imprison him, and murder him? Oh, easily. Alright, we're gonna have to go do a quick, easy murder on him and have no one find out. <laughs> I need, I need no one to find out. Alright, Ima, I need you, I, I, bad, I badly need, alright, we'll, we'll use our hook. <laughs> I badly need you, and I badly need you. I want two people on our side to ensure we remove this man from office. He's got two, he's got three skill. And one's because he's one-eyed. <laughs> he's so bad at his job. We need someone else here immediately. Wasn't there a thing where you could send him somewhere to educate a child? Oh yeah, that's right. Couldn't we do, you're right, couldn't we do this? Hold on, we might not murder this man. Thank goodness, because murdering is becoming a problem. Can we do this? You know what, the easiest way to find him is going to be by in the threes section here. There he is.
Go do that. Ah, oh, yeah, it's much better. Whew. Solved. Okay, take him six years. Just instead of fifteen. All right, we can we can cancel this. Oof. Oh my goodness, I didn't want to have to murder anyone. More bastards. <laughs> Just problems everywhere. Alright, you sir. Revoke titles. All of your lands belong to me now. <laughs> if that be so. If be so, yeah, that's exactly how it works. Um, and uh, I can't just actually let you go, brother. Uh, you have to... Uh, I have to demand your conversion. You have to renounce your claim. Okay. He doesn't want to do it because he's like, I can be an emperor too. Okay, fine. We claim. No, recruit. I don't need to recruit him. But we'll at least demand his conversion and he's allowed out. For the sake of the fa Think of the family. Alright, Mian's uh This one here can go. Now we don't need this one anymore. Perfect. Our cousin, congratulations. Congratulations. Hold on to Paris for a smidgen longer. Ah, I see. Okay, so then over here we'll drop this one. Uh, to our nephew and knight. Excellent. Congratulations. You've earned it. You've earned it. You have. You have. Two more territories. Really? I have to drop two more? Should we drop Paris? Probably shouldn't drop Paris, right? Paris is giving us two. It's simply not well developed at all. Let's give it to someone else. <laughs> it's fine. I don't need Paris. We're not doing anything with it. Um, you can take this. Oh. Perfect. Have him in charge. Um, and then I guess we'll drop probably this one. Right? Like less developed. Oh, it's got a level 2 castle. This one's actually less developed. Interesting. But we'll drop this one. It's furthest from our territory. Put you in here. Alright. We can always grab it back later when we're ready. But otherwise, we now have all of our core territories back again. Nice. Imagine him teaching your kid. Oh my goodness, yeah. <laughs> that blind bishop was... Let's just say very, very inept. <laughs> He's... His overall skills were, let's just say, lacking. I mean, we were probably more knowledgeable. Yeah, we were significantly more knowledgeable than he was when it came to uh, to anything about the holy books, the holy scriptures. He knew nothing, nothing. Uh, control. Let's jump over to Kent. Nothing on that. Uh, let's go down our list. Innsbruck, nothing to upgrade. Lens, nothing to upgrade. Mutin, nope. Brixen, nope. 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 Yep. Good pastoral lands. Well, this gives us more taxes, which is nice, and more garrison. And Ravensburg, more taxes. Perfect. Keep the upgrades a rolling. All right, so we can negotiate an alliance with this guy. Makes no sense. He's got 300 troops. Literally not useful for us at all. We can imprison Ima, our niece. See no reason for that. The claim payment. We can go to war, and we have low control. And yeah, it's fine. Um. So our vassals. Oh my goodness, what happened to you? <laughs> Severely injured. Jeez, ma'am. She's beating herself into a pulp being a flagellant. Holy moly. <laughs> Gracious. Uh, their opinion of us for offensive war is not even in here. What? 
Okay, someone's got to be pissed off that we've we've been doing offensive wars, yeah? Yeah, offensive war minus 19. We can let a little bit of time go by. We need to wait for some more prestige anyway. But then we can go and try and pick up a couple more of these parts and pieces in here. Uh, safe to understand that I have subjects of my own too. Currently contractor restricted. Surely you have wisdom. Uh, yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> Let's go sort this out later. We'll have to sort that out later. Nope. Oh, prisoner is dying. Eh, it happens. Don't get sent to prison in the first place and you won't die in prison, it's fine. Um, but yeah, so we need to go and get ourselves another 3,300 prestige, and then we can go to war for all of Italia again, and we can give it another shot. Um, other than Italia, we can then do the same for Francia, but I'll, I'd like to have that one be second, just so that we have the Umayyads at least have a wall that we can hide behind, because they're dangerous. Oh my goodness. Hey, thanks for the follow, I really appreciate that. Well, oh my goodness, you're going to make me struggle on this one. The Jill, the Jill, wait. I'm going to figure this out. Legit hit burger? Eh? Legit burger? Eh? No? Hmm? Close? How close was I? I feel like I kind of sorted it out, right? No? Did I get the username right? <laughs> Don't need to pronounce, please. Okay. That's too, too late. <laughs> uh, I tried. Uh, but how was it? Was it? It was perfect though. Oh, sick! All right, nailed it. Welcome. How are you doing today? Oh my goodness. Hopefully you're doing as well as our king is, because we're doing quite dandy. He's a little stressed. He's a little stressed. Yeah, he's a little bit hurting his fertility. Not so great, especially since his wife's like forty. Yeah, I was really hoping for some more kids. We need more childrens. It is what it is. All right, so the greetings, my prospective liege. I'm gonna invite you to a feast. Oh, it'd be my pleasure, of course. Of course, I would go, my marshal. I wouldn't miss it for a thing. Not in the world would I miss your feasts. Your feasts are fit for men who go to battle. Who will die the next day. Proposed alliance. This is that guy that has got like no troops, right? Declined. Alright, there we go. Nice. You don't need more kids? You have thrust? We've got, well, I mean, honestly, we have Galaxy Brain. Let's, alright, let's, let's be honest, Trizak. Oh, wait, sorry, that's forbidden. Uh, we, we have Galaxy Brain. Thrust is good. But we do have Galaxy Brain. Hello, Mr. Emperor. How about we do an alliance? I know, right? It's <laughs> just from some random guy. Like, um, no. How about we don't, and you just go back to your corner, small little count? I, the Emperor of Tyrol. Say, say no. Get off, get off my land. Uh, we're not going to imprison you. Go ahead and imprison you. Random fornicators. Give it away a second. There we go. Bam. Oh, nope. No alliance for you. Put you in jail as well. Chuck him in. We get a little bit of stress when we put people in jail. But it's only a little. Ah, good. Stress. <laughs> Remove a lot of stress. There we go. See if it's exposed. <gasps> Yonder, I believed in you! Yonder! Yonder, Junior, you were supposed to be the chosen one. And granted, he is also a beautiful specimen. Uh, but he's also your uncle. <laughs> he's also your uncle, alright? Uh, and you're supposed to be having kids with this giant albino man. So we can get giant albinoism into the family, uh, into the family line. So we could have... Uh, Herculean, genius, beautiful, fecund, giant albino men in the family and just rule with an iron fist. Ah. 
Chuck her in jail. Uh, your sister has been left, uh, has let it known that uh, not only is her unborn child the product of an illicit union, but the father is none other than her uncle. <gasps> You'll even become her. What will even become of her child? That the whole world knows. I'm probably gonna do well. I mean, it's a you know. <laughs> you are the chosen one. Um, we'll have you. No, I don't want you. Well, yeah, we'll have you renounce your claims because we don't actually need to do that. Uh, and we'll have you we claim. And I don't really need you to take vows because we want you to have more kids. But yeah, you're gonna have to have a weak. We're gonna have to get a weak claim against you, and you're gonna have to renounce all your claims. So your son gets nothing from us. Your son has to go and get it all on his own. Oh, it'd be my pleasure to go to a feast. Of course, but of course. Bam. All right, so she only has a couple of claims left. She has no money, so I'm not going to get anything off of her for right now. All right, that's expired. Good. We didn't want to use that claim against her anyway. It's fine. All right. Let's jump back over here. What are we looking at? What can we take? You? Yes. For a hundred. Okay. To war! You? War for duchy, holy war for county. We'll come back to you. You? War? County? To war! You? War? County? To war! You? County, duchy, to war. <laughs> you, county, to war. To war. It's a lot of prestige. We don't really want to use it. And. Expensive. We've got the piety. So to war. <laughs> Let's start eating these smaller nations. Let's get in there. Prepare the troops for battle. For our one, two, three, four, five, six way war. Alright. Raise the troops. Oh, actually, we're having a feast right here. That's why we're having our feast. <laughs> we're, we're eating right next to the war. Perfect. So we're like, we're like in this castle over here. And I'm like, oh yes, as you can see over in the mountain range, you can see our armies marshalling for war with our neighbors. Move out, men. Move out. Get a big boy troop down here, and we'll split them up from down here. But let's at least start with the uh, with the big old Eastern Francian uh, kingdom. Ah, good. Reduce more stress. Perfect. Ransom. More cash out of them. Beat up some of these guys. Turn home. Yeah, it's even less stress. Oh my goodness, we're losing a lot of stress here. These feasts are great. Just some top tier, top tier feasts for sure. Then we'll go ahead and we'll uh, we'll take a little bit of a break from eating these territories, and then we'll pick up the rest. Rival or that's fine. Don't need a rival. Oh my goodness, the Duchess become imprisoned. <laughs> Duchess, why? Um, I will allow you to leave if you if you change your religion. And give me, a, give me a weak claim so I can take your money. Perfect. We're slowly but surely gonna sort out everyone here having the wrong religion. It's just gonna take a lot of time. If we can get all of the people in charge to change their religion, then we'll catch up. Oh my goodness, Sir Ice Mage, welcome back. How are you doing today? Is this the medieval equivalent of diner of dinner in a show? Yes, it is. It's exactly a dinner in a show. 
That is exactly right. And it's the best show there is. The show of us winning. Winning every war we can. Let's move over here and start sieging that as well. Secrets exposed. So yeah, they're, they're sieging our territories, but pff, what do we, what do we get? What is this? Oh, what is this? They have 20,000 troops. Ooh. Oh, they're pushing for this territory, aren't they? They are. Gosh dang it, Zab. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll have to sort that out in a minute. We might end up just giving him that territory, to be honest. To be honest, we might literally just give it to him. I don't know if we really care about Northern Africa, the Northern African coast right now. Uh, we're, we're trying to continue to expand our hold within Europe. The Northern African coast is kind of an afterthought at this moment. Ah, lead the way. Teach me the ways of intrigue. Need a bit more here. After your confidant. All courtiers lose a pinion for... What, like... Eight years? Uh, you'll lose all stress. Nah, it's fine. We can wait. We can wait until we have more stress. So actually, we might just go blackmail a bunch of people and then do that. There we go. This one. Perfect. Head north. Oh, this territory is actually really well built up. Nice. Very nice. Sun? Nah, I won't give it to our sun. Give it to this guy. Give that land. Alright, let's go and blackmail a bunch of people here real quick. Write some you out. Intrigue. Because doing so ups our stress by quite a lot. We'll go ahead and we'll just blackmail a bunch of people here. Honestly, we'll just blackmail them all. And then we'll talk to our confidant. We'll get that sorted. Stress, blam! Really high stress. Expose them. Oh, okay. I thought it said we were going to lose all of our stress, but I guess it's because we did had less than 33 stress at the time. Well, okay, now we're just very stressed. <laughs> okay. When can we go on a hunt? Uh, three years. Ooh, okay. Well, we're going to be very stressed for a while. We've got some severe health penalties right now. Uh-oh. Whoops-a-daisies. Who's your biggest rival on the map? Um, I mean, honestly, our biggest rival is the Umayyads uh, within proximity. Um, these guys aren't close enough to us to really matter. Um, the, honestly, the Byzantine Empire isn't that strong. They've got, what, 15,000 troops at their max right now? And we have, what, 29,000 troops at our max output? The Umayyads, on the other hand, uh, can actually get up to 20k, but the thing is that because of just how spread out they are, they could probably put up a pretty good fight. So I'd say the Umayyads are currently our biggest rivals. Especially since they're trying to take our little spit of land down here. How dare they? How dare they? I will probably just raise like a troop of like 4k down there and just go beat them up real quick <laughs> and walk away. But I want to, uh, I think we might actually just go siege this down, drop these troops, and then bring them up over there to go do it. Uh, we've almost got this one done down here. Yeah, there's 63%. Get up and over here. And beat them up. Let's win all of our tiny wars that I put together. Because I do love having a lot of tiny wars for land. Increase control. Yes. More heritage problems, good gracious. But we need we still need to get a lot of prestige so we can actually go to war with Italy or France to take all of that kingdom territory. We really need to get our prestige up. So these wars that we are starting with piety 
I think we get prestige as well, once we win him. Oh my goodness, did we just like, we just inherited this one that already had a hole in it? Perfect. <laughs> Knock her down. Take it down. Again, bodies don't really matter that much. We can replenish so quickly. Um, that's, again, as long as we're not fighting the my odds, we're fine. Yeah. Yep, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Here. Let me click on the thing, please. Goodness, goodness gracious. It's like, you want your... You want to click on your army, right? I'm like, no. It's like, your army, right? N no. I don't want the army. You sure? Yes. Positive. Grant you. Recently earned title of... Oh, okay. I didn't get the duchy. That's fine. Move over there. Looks like these guys are backing up someone. I don't know why we can raid them. Or why we can uh, siege them. I don't know why they're still red. Ah, uh, it's because we have that bug again where it stays red after you finish a war. Brutal. So we finish that siege up north. Okay, so you guys... I'll actually just move you here. I think we can just try and blitz through these before this actually goes anywhere. As we do have to lift our troops up before they do anything. Well, uh, oh wow, they've got trebuchets. Yeah, we should probably take care of that. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll knock these guys down. Spend that troop. This mechanic definitely needs to get fixed. Like this, this, uh, this rallying mechanic is so broken uh, for multiplayer games. Like, look at this. Oh, you're going to attack me? Ah, I'll just teleport my troops from the heart of Europe all the way down here to the northern tip of Africa. It's fine. No worries. You know. Problem solved. <laughs> it's just so cheaty. But it saves you a lot of money having to go across the ocean. It's just, like, you shouldn't be able to raise them immediately. It, it, the fact that I can uh, sometimes lower all of our troops and then raise all of our troops again is a little nuts. See, there's no delay in which we can raise them again. We can just lower all those troops after we kill them all. Bam. Uh, and we can scoop back up here. Right here to where we raised them before. Bam. Until these troops move up here once they've fully raised. So 14 days, that means we'll pull a couple of extra troops out. There you go. Replenish our ranks. <laughs> and off we go. Too easy. Too easy. Hmm. More people doing murder. The main limit? What land did we just take? Ah, oh, this one. Of course. But of course. Alright, I need a new Bavarian Catholic man. Catholic Bavarian man. Here you go. This is a mayor. Countess, mayor, mayor, prince, mayor. You, sir. We're going to give it to him, and we'll make him... Make him Catholic. Good job. Oh, also got his wife Catholic as well. Perfect. You can have this land so long as you worship the right god. That's all. <laughs> right? That's all that matters. All right, Chronicle writing done. Perfect. With Chronicle writing done, uh, we can now you can now use individual de jour duchy casas belli. Perfect. And they're doing horseshoes next, which if we helped would be four years to get completed. We're trying to get heraldry done as quick as we can, so we can get um, high partition, just to make our lives a little bit easier when we die. Kind of a high priority. As soon as we get that, we'll swap things out. Uh, you can only live if you follow the god. <laughs> yeah, you can only live if you follow the god emperor of man. Or rather, you can only have this land from being, you know, essentially... Oh my goodness. Honor! What's your what's your family motto? Honor? No, no, like, what's... What's the, what's the motto? Like, what's the, um... What's the call to action? What's the... What is it? it it's honor. Excuse me? What? Alright, where's the uprising? 
literally only here? Okay. Okay. Some of the families in this game have some really, really good name. Uh, really good, um... Mottos. Where's our motto? There it is. Until our devotion engulfs the world. What a motto! Oh my good, what a motto! Until our devotion engulfs the world. And we're working on it, for sure. What a motto. These guys over here, conquest, right, and goodness. It's not bad, right? It's a call to action to conquest, but in a righteous and good goodness way. Truth through the hammer. Right? Right? These are some good mottos. How does devotion engulf anything? Uh, well, we, we are so devoted that we are able to make essentially a, um, what, like a, like a, you know, a robot that then just eats the whole world. Uh, we're just, uh, we essentially begin the Adeptus Mechanicus, uh, order and we just, just, we take care of all the mega machines found in, in the Warhammer 40k universe. We, that, that's what we do. That's, that's what we're going, that, that's what we're destined to create, right? Sounds like a very Catholic thing to say. It does, though, right? <laughs> Definitely does. Flanders, give me some things. From Handshake Control, give me some monies. Some monies. Some monies. And the Heartbreaker. Oh, nope, here's the game again. Oh, wait, this is a different guy. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Leto, you're fine. You're fine, Leto. Criminals. That's our stress. Low enough. <laughs> Low enough in this bracket, at least. Rather. Okay, first people in jail. Throw them all in jail. Throw them all in jail. So I know, so it's got a lover. Then, <laughs> all right, Llewellyn, I like I like your family motto. That's a good one. Hold my beer and watch this. <laughs> that's that's really good. That's a good motto. It's a true call to action. I don't know, Zelda. What a motto with you. I mean, what a motto with me. What a motto with you, Trisak. <laughs> oh my goodness. We gained fame from doing that. Cool. Prestige. All right, let's pull these boys down. Move to this territory here. Prestige this will be good. Ah, finally. Truth is relative. Hmm. We can change this what in three years? Okay, so we can get one more. We can get one more. The truth is relative. Money and money. Five bucks? Seriously? Well, I'll take what we can get. <laughs> we'll take any money, it's fine. We'll just keep grabbing people. Yeah, we're losing some wars here. But not for long. Are we actually making any headway over there? Uh, let's see here. Alright, Thrust McHuge. Arbitrary, Craven, or Lazy? Well, Craven is garbage, so Arbitrary is better? Question mark? Better than lazy. I guess I guess you become craven, boy. <laughs> or uh, you become arbitrary, rather. It's the best we can do. The best that can be done. Yes. More claims. That's good. That's very good. Right, we'll go ahead and we'll siege these down. Um, and that'll finish up these last two wars here. And we'll go ahead and hit the Peasant Uprising, and then we'll go take down Zob. A white piece? Aw, so cute. <laughs> uh, so, sire, can we, can we have a white piece, perhaps? I don't want you to take over our nation and make it part of your empire. You see, I mean, I respect, I respect you for coming to talk to me about this, but, um, all your base belong to us, so it's unfortunate for you, I know. 
siege that. It'll be the last territory we need to siege in this area, and then we'll be good to go. Nice. So we've got more people that are, oh my goodness, being deviants. We'll have to pick out which ones we want to go and blackmail because our stress is just way too high. We can't blackmail anyone right now. How long are you going to be streaming? Minimum two more hours. Minimum two more hours. We're only halfway through our stream. Generally, we do four hours, but sometimes it goes a little bit longer than that. It's very rare that we do shorter than four hour streams. Very, very rare. Oh yeah, we can't actually siege this right. Ah, I remember now. I'll just go and stack up here then. Go bring these 9k up here. You know what? You know what? Bring them, bring them back over here. Let's just bring them down south. <laughs> Why not? Right? Get them down there. We can't go bring in claimants again. We need to hold on to our prestige for as long as we can. Alright, drop these guys. Eight months to picking them back up. That's still going to be faster than having them run down here. Up down here. Raise them up. As long as these guys don't attack while we're able to raise, we're in good shape. We don't have to babysit uh, Europe right now because up in Europe they're going to take these down in no time. There we go. Okay, troops, 7k troops, 8k troops, 9k troops, 10k troops. Yep. Yep, feels fair to me. Let's, uh, let's go defend our territory with our 11k troops. <laughs> Grab that real quick there. Oh, what? 99%? Alright, we'll get down here and beat these guys up real quick. They're locked into the movement, so we can go take care of that. Oh, what is this? It's our spy master. In my work at court, I have failed to find any secrets about Phyllis, our guest. But we can make up a strong claim, or a strong one if we needed to. She actually is in debt. Oh my goodness, no, there's, there's no there's no reason to do that. We'll have her like us more because we're not going to do anything bad. Because we're, um... She's not going to give us anything. <laughs> she's, she's like, she literally can't. She has no money and she has no land. She's not useful for us in that way. That's fine. What? How do they slip through our fingers? We gotta go grab them. Get over there. Bending in the forest? Pfft. I mean, yeah, your 800 ain't going to do anything against this group. We've got you covered, because this is our group with all of our extra troops and whatnot. Like the, the actual skilled ones. Our men at arms. Excellent. Oh my goodness, we're heavily stressed. What's going on here? Oh man, if we just grit our teeth, it's going to go up again. We'll have to go and confess. What do you expect me? You milk drinkers. Um, you know, Santa can serve fine. Okay, perfect, there we go. Uh, hey, how's it going, player new? How are you doing today? How's Yonder Jr.? Yonder Jr.'s doing pretty well. Oh, however, except she's, you know, um, sleeping with her uncle. So, other than that, Yonder Jr.'s doing a great job. Uh, she's not sleeping with the husband that we perfectly picked out for her so that she could have beautiful, beautiful babies. Um, like, literally, the penultimate best human creature that could ever be created. She has the ability to do. But, nope. She's just sleeping with her uncle. For some reason. <laughs> uh, you like how uh, the Catholic Pope in CK2 is trying to send missionaries to your realm to convert you, and you just keep throwing them in prison? Oh yeah, you just throw all of them in prison, and they're just free um, free sacrifices for your blots. Right, Stormy Snow? Easy peasy. <laughs> How's it going, Mendex? How you doing today? Welcome. Hey, Spexer. How's it going? Uh, you saw my message in Discord, yes? Question mark? Saw my message? I hope so. Greetings, a settlement and the installation of a new administration. Good. Okay. Saw my message, okay, cool. Cool, cool. I just want to make sure there's no blind sides for you. Let's go ahead and merge these guys together. Yeah, it happens. For, it, it's rare for me that it happens, but it happens from time to time things start to get in the way. Let's go ahead and crush this. This should be the last one here. There we go. Insta win. <laughs> They're over there trying to siege down stuff. <laughs> Woe is them. Woe is them. Let's go ahead and disband these troops. Perfecto. 
now I just have to worry about these guys down here, which are being awkward. Go over there. <laughs> Go over there. Um, you're doing good? Lying on your deck watching the stream roll in? Oh, storm roll rolling. Oh, that's cool. Is it going to be like an insane storm? Is this going to be like one where you, you have to batten down the hatches? Or is this just going to be, you know, like a, a general run of the mill storm? Just a, a standard storm. Or is this going to be one where you have to make sure, you're, like, you tie everything down <laughs> before it goes flying away? Keep this. This. And Bamberg. We'll give you. We'll let them fight amongst themselves and see who takes it in the end. Oh! Von, Von Bamberg. Hey, you can have this territory. Uh, on one condition, though, I am going to need you to convert. So if you don't, it's going to get really awkward. Um, who is this? No. Do you need to convert? Nope, you're good. Do you need to convert? Nope, you're good. So this guy's from Bamberg. We might as well let him rule Bamberg. So long as... So long as... <laughs> he converts. One way or another. <laughs> <laughs> uh, got him. There we go. Sorted. He's not going to be happy with us doing that move, but it's kind of important. Back over here to beat them up again. Keep bouncing back and forth. We've almost won this. Gods imprison her. Oh my goodness. What? Queen. My goodness. All right, well, Queen, you may leave. If you, uh, you can, you can shoot for Cologne. That's fine. Um, oh, dang. Is that a change of religion? That's fine. That's fine. Just fix that. We're good to go. How's it going, Vox? How you doing today? Fuck okay. um. Right, these guys are still trying to take territory, but they literally can't because they're too weak. So we'll just move these troops here. Bam. Um. This is bedtime some time ago. Yeah. Looks like even the sun decided to show up. Cool. How's it going, Giggle Brush? You've got 700 plus hours in CK2, but you're hesitant to play CK3. Uh, because how many reviews you said to wait for DLC content? Yeah, Giggle, Giggle Blush, definitely. Um, CK3 is great. I'm really enjoying it. I'm having a blast. I've got like 500 or 600 hours in CK2. I can't remember exactly. Um, and that game's amazing. But yeah, it, it CK3 does feel a little empty. Um, it feels a little empty. So you... If you, I mean, if you know you're going to play it one way or another, if you find it on sale, if, I mean, it is still a new game, you know, it only came out, what, two months ago? Um, Galaxy Brain, I don't want, I don't want Galaxy Brain, to be honest. Maybe humble, maybe. Yeah, i make Galaxy Brain humble, that's fine. Um, if, uh, if you know you're going to get the game, because, I mean, you might as well just wait for whenever you see it on sale, then jump on it. That's what I would do. If I was in your shoes. But if you're interested in playing it and you know you're going to get it eventually, you can jump on it. Why not? What you got for me? You are decent, but not amazing. Negotiate. Uh, let's get you free. Just in case. Just in case. There we go. 100%. <laughs> Done. And expand all wars. Oh my goodness, our troops. Excellent. Slowly expanding. You haven't played CK2? What sort of uh, flavor is CK3 missing? A lot. A lot. So, um, CK2 had plagues, it had invasions, it had uh, secret societies, so you could be like devil worshippers and use magic and whatnot, which is pretty sick. Uh, you had um, 
blanking on others at the moment. Uh, someone's gonna have to help me. <laughs> I'm blanking. I'm blanking on him. Uh, but there, there were a lot of DLCs. There's a lot of DLCs um, in CK2. Uh, and the thing is, that the fact that you can actually play with including like India and Link in CK3 to start with is pretty cool. Oh yeah, Chinese influence in the East. Yes, that was a good one. I did like that one. Uh, it let you have like relics, which was super cool. So you had like relics and heirlooms held in the family. There's a button that you'd click that would give you like this library of stuff that you had. That each thing gave you bonuses. So you could get like a superior crown. You could have like you could have a wall of skulls from the people you've murdered, and that gave you more prestige. Like, oh, it was so cool. I love that stuff. That was great. Yeah, the relics and heirlooms. That was so good. That subsystem was awesome. Like you'd have books that you could write. You could have like your, uh, you could have your character write a book uh, before they die about like whatever they were really, really good at. So in this case, this guy would be like the art of speech, right? Um, or you know, you'd have someone who does like intrigue, who'd be like uh, the secrets of the bedroom, right? You know, increasing like fertility and whatnot. It's super cool. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, Merchant republics and theocracies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's there's a lot of stuff that's still missing. Um, you get a lot of those with mods. Yeah, I was gonna say a lot of mods at this point are a lot of mod makers are probably just going to remake the DLC uh, found in CK2 into CK3. So if you can just be patient enough for those mods to start rolling out, you'll get at least a taste of that until uh, Paradox starts rolling out the new DLC. But either way, if you're interested in this game, I would say go for it. But maybe wait until the winter sale, right? Because they're, like Paradox might drop, you know, five percent or something off during winter sale, even though it's only been out for a couple months. Uh, Paradox is pretty, pretty consistent with their uh, their sales during, uh, like throughout the year, even with new releases. They're, they're pretty consistent with doing that. Uh, just because their games are so DLC uh, dependent, so DLC heavy, they've got a pretty consistent cash flow. So they're you know they're pretty they're pretty good about putting up deals, which is awesome. Uh, so again, if you if you're interested but you're willing to wait, kind of like how everyone has to wait for Cyberpunk 2077, um, then wait on it until you can get a deal on it, or until a DLC really grabs your eye. Throw her in jail. But I, I'm really enjoying this game. This great. This game's a blast. Right, can we go ahead and take like some or all of this territory? Yeah, we can. Give me your lands. Gimme, give gimme. Give we'll take this all later. Still can't go to war with you, can I? How do I not have a Cassus Belly for this? Good gracious. Once. Hello? Ah, bandits. Yeah, we'll scare them off. Um, once he's done uh, fixing the faith in this region. Let him come over here and get us a claim on that because it's annoying that we don't have that. <laughs> we should have it. Uh, but yeah, so let's just go to war here real quick. Our troops go here. Oh, I hit the wrong button. That's fine. Uh, but you get over there. And then I guess we'll just go from here because I don't, I'm feeling lazy. I hit the I hit remove by accident. Oh well. <laughs> How do you go over there? Perfect. Done. Dealt with. Carcinogen. <laughs> Wait. Am I not wearing pants? I'm wearing pants, Carcinogen. How dare you? <laughs> I wear I wear pants when we have to do a lot of thinking, because all my all my blood goes to my brain when we're thinking in these tough games, which means I need to keep my legs warm. It's also actually quite cold over here. We're starting to... It's still fall, but we're starting to run into winter weather. <laughs> you'll, have to, you'll have to speak louder. <laughs> uh, eh. You play a lot of Hearts of Iron 4? That's a really fun game. I enjoyed it. I, I really enjoyed that game a lot until uh, Crusader Kings 3 kind of took over that time slot. I am looking forward to going back and playing more uh, Hearts of Iron 4 going forward. I'm looking forward to that.
yeah, no, uh, Marks and Recreation. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to the DLC for this game. It's gonna be amazing. Oh yeah, foreign guards. <laughs> yeah, gives us plus five percent levy raise, and also we get personal prowess. That's good. We'll do that. Really gotta get this stress down though. Yikes! <laughs> it's really gonna hurt us. You had a few days of insanely hot summer-like weather, but back to freezing point now. Oh my goodness, Llewellyn, well, Jeez. That's that's awkward. Oh, it's a large breach. Yes, yeah, get in there. We'll lose a good number of troops, unfortunately. Ah, oh, we arrived. Good. You can start moving. We got twenty-five thousand troops in that stack. That's fine. We're a saint. Perfect. We're a religious icon, and we're close to becoming a living legend. Excellent. Well, let's actually have you guys just like literally roll through this territory as you move up here. <laughs> that's be fine. It's gonna be like 40 Celsius on Monday where you are. Oof, that's gonna be toasty. 40 Celsius is that's hot. Um, I'm not interested in 40 degrees Celsius. Honestly, like when it's above like 26 degrees Celsius, I'm like, eh. Do something else. Oh, we're gonna have to come in here and help out. Eh, we'll still win this fight, but we might as well throw in our 25,000 extra troops as well. You really don't like hot weather. You like cold weather. I prefer cold weather because you can put bigger, you, you can you can put bigger jackets and whatnot on, right? In cold weather, you can go outside and just be like bundled up and essentially roll down a hill, right? Just being completely like covered in like puffy jackets and, and puffy pants. Um, but in hot weather, you can't do that. You're stuck inside. You're like literally stuck inside. 22 Celsius is already too hot for your taste. Yeah, I agree with you, Dalka. 22 Celsius, that's too, that's too hot for me. I prefer, like, somewhere between, like, 18 and 22 is pretty, like, I'm happy in that range. 18 to 22, pre pretty good with that. Preferably, like, 20, 21, I think I like the most, but 18 to 22 is okay. All right, Nuremberg. Let's go drop this off. Uh, Nuremberg, we'll drop you off have that. No, we can give them both. Why not? There. Yeah, both. Sure. How about it? <laughs> I don't care. Maybe he'll go and he'll fight for that one. Who knows? Alright. More territory, more territory. Slowly, slowly cleaning up our borders. A very important thing, for sure. You think it's like 104 Fahrenheit according to Google? Yeah. Um, over 30... What is it, over 30, so like 37 Celsius is close-ish to 100 Fahrenheit. Um, but yeah, that's, that's just too, that's, that's too toasty. <laughs> you have 40C in the summer, but you had an eight, uh, a window AC that's a lifesaver. Oh yeah, if you're playing with 40C, you, you'd like have to have, you'd have to have a, uh, an AC, or else you're going to be in trouble. Gracious, we really got to drop our stress. We lost Gunter? Really? Oh my goodness, the... our... Wait, I thought it said a son. No? Oh, our friend. Our friend died. Oh, he's shrewd. How do you get shrewd? wonder how you get shrewd. Hmm. I wonder... These people in jail. Got that trophy. Go hunting and get a trophy. Good. Get in jail. Get in jail. Get in jail. Get in jail. <laughs> Everyone goes to jail. Ah, good. More prestige. We need. We need like to double our prestige if we're gonna do any of our big wars. It's brutal. It's gonna take a bit. Uh, hey, how's it going, Blood Angel? How have you been? More like Butt King 3. I mean, we're, we're playing Crusader Kings, but we're we're definitely doing a lot of uh, uh, marrying. Very interesting marriages, for sure. Definitely some interesting marriages. Gotta get this. Oh my goodness, we gotta get this sorted. Ooh. It's gotten to negative 60 Fahrenheit where you lived before? Oh my good gracious. Oh my good gracious, are you serious? Blood Angel, that's literally terrifying. 
literally terrifying how cold that is. All right, so I kind of want to sit around for a bit just to let our our warmongering kind of subside a bit. So we don't have, like, uprisings anytime soon. We shouldn't have any... Ooh, take that back. <laughs> want independence from their lead. We have an independence faction that's going to give us an ultimatum in seven months. That's no good. I might be able to bribe you out of it, though. What? I can take your land? Why? There's an adulterer? I have a 100% chance to do so. I mean... Might as well. It's just going to kick her out of this faction. <laughs> and reduce the amount of power they have. There we go. Ultimate is going to be sent any time now. Okay. Uh, you, sir, can I take your thing or can I just bribe you? Let's just bribe you. Love me. This guy's the one with the most power, which is the real problem. I'm going to get him sorted. We're going to run into problems with him soon, for sure. 20 Fahrenheit's not that cold? That's below freezing. What are you talking about? That's still cold. Short sleeves and 50 degrees Fahrenheit? Yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Nine six Fahrenheit's common where you live? Holy smoke, Stormy Snow. <laughs> it's nuts. You in here have, like, a decent amount of... Yeah, it's not good. Let's see if we can bribe this guy. And the Lycus. We got a plenty of money. We're going to just chuck a couple of coins around and see if we can sway some people out of doing this faction nonsense. They're going for independence. Let's deal with factions. Is there one in here that deals with factions? There. Is there something we can do to help reduce factions? No. A bit of steward, maybe? I think we do, yeah. Fire that guy. We can't fire this guy, unfortunately. We're probably gonna have to axe him. <laughs> oh, we can blackmail him. Oh, perfect. Oh my goodness, it's gonna get us over the edge. Ooh. All right, we're gonna have to blackmail him as quickly as we can now and see if we can use it to kick him out of that position. So hopefully some people will leave, they're at 100%. Yeah, someone else leave? Wait, we need to drop this title we just gained. Um, where is this last... Where is this? Down here? Oh, pff, I definitely don't want this. Nope, definitely do not want. Uh, we'll give this to a Bavarian man. There, go. there you go. We get this sorted so we don't have ultimatums coming. What is this? We know their we know their secret. All right, so we're just gonna get ourselves up and over in the stress, unfortunately. But I'm wondering if we can use this to force him out of faction. Looks like it forced him out of the faction. Ooh, bad stress. Let's get that sorted for sure. Let me designate a teacher for you. Actually, yeah, your sister would be perfect. And she's not a great role model with how she keeps cheating, but you know. <laughs> none of her two kids, none of her two kids are her husband's. Well, he just turned 16. Last year. So, I mean, what do you expect? Make conversion, please convert. So that makes them like each other more. They can get a little bit busier. You need to get busier! We need more children! 
immediately. Uh, you, sir. Why would I murder him? That's making sense. How do I keep people out of factions? Is there, is there a way for me to do this? Is there, isn't there literally zero way for me to keep people out of factions? It's weird. We'll hold a feast. Reduce our stress and hopefully make people like us enough that we'll be fine. Go befriend him. Guess we could. Right, swam. 100% chance in nine months. Dang. It's very powerful friendship skills right there. Innsbruck's fully upgraded. Actually, yeah. Fully upgraded, fully upgraded, fully upgraded. Upgraded, upgraded. Not quite. All right, so here we wanted to get a military academy. Get that working. All right, and over here, we need to upgrade the castle. And then over here, we want to upgrade to get some guard uh, hunting towers. Perfect. There we go. Nice. And then for the King of Bavaria over here, we need to do a we need to go fabricate a claim. Gain a little bit of stress because we're compassionate. Man, the fact that we're compassionate is absolutely killing our stress. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is really bad. Spy master, and let's have him support our schemes. Support my schemes. So we have like a essentially so the it's it's as low a possible chance for them to find us as, as we can, and a pretty good chance of us going and blackmailing him essentially, like forcing a a claim or forcing a hook on him. So we can try and reel him back into some semblance of control here. He's just got too much power. It's a real problem. Yeah, bring down my stress, please. Too stress off from going below level. If I release a prisoner, do I lose stress because I'm compassionate? We lose dread. Well, that's not helpful. Do I have dread? We've got some dread left. Uh, that's that natural dread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well... <laughs> I'm just gonna leave those people in jail, that's fine. They did something to get themselves in jail, they can stay in jail. Oh, what is this? Looks like Italia's lost a duchy. Eighty what? Eighty one hundred prestige needed for that. Oh, because they made the Empire of Italia. That explains it. Gosh darn it. So that doesn't even work anymore. We can't actually go for Italia because it's an Empire. Alright, well, that's fine. We'll have to go get a piecemeal now. That is A-OK. -okay. We'll slowly get there. Oh, yes, it's my pleasure. I'd love to go to a feast. I thought I was hosting a feast, though. Is not a feast in Innsbruck? No, there isn't. Weird. I could have sworn we had a feast going on at home. <laughs> okay. Yep, keep bringing down our stress. Excellent. Oh, didn't you build a pleasure palace for de-stressing? Yes. So the pleasure palace, the advantage this thing gives us, is we get 15% more loss of stress whenever we have a stress reduction event. Which is really good. Also gives us a little bit more for our plots. So both of these get a plus 5 right now. Um, so if we look at this... Right here, we'll see that plus five from our domain. That's coming from our pleasure palace. Or our leisure palace, rather. Bottom of the tankard, we gain drunkard. New. <laughs> new. New, 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 new. Two week descent ultimatum. Yes, we did it. Okay. We've, we've kept them kept them in check. Can I get you to stop? Like backing this guy though, because like, geez, come on, you love me, you love me. I gave you a lot of money, and we hosted a feast for it. Wow, the feast gave us plus thirty-three. Holy moly! Farewell, my friend. Jeez, 
How's it going, Kittylicious? How are you doing? Ah, uh, one of your favorite things is Zelda CK3 stream? Yes. And we're doing quite well. Doing quite well indeed. Well, it's clear about his rights. You get an, um, you get an unpressed claim on... We don't, we don't need it. You, you can, it's fine. <laughs> Literally don't need it, it's fine. Oh my god, it's just look at this! Tarol is huge! Look at the power of Tarol. Problem is we have to go sort out our religion. The religion map has become an absolute nightmare. This whole place has turned into a collage. <laughs> you doing okay? Just popped into bed after finishing your first uh, edited video? Oh, <gasps> nice! Yeah, we'll go to another, we'll go on to another good old feast. Try and get our stress down even more. But also, what was the, uh, what was the video for? Troll is such a chunky land now. Yes, it's so chunky. I mean, you do you remember what it was like? Literally, this line that went from here down to here and over to here. It had this little line, this like super thin, skinny line between like uh, the big, big boy France and um, what was it? Uh, we had uh, Eastern Francia over here, Western Francia over here, like Pomerania. Like this troll's doing well. We've really kind of We've, we've eaten our fill, for sure. We're waiting on getting more prestige, though. Ah, there we go. Unlock the new perk. Perfect. So we can go and get... Um, finding secrets are faster. It's not really useful right now. Disrupting schemes is more... 50% more effects is pretty good. Murder scheme plot power is 30% better, so we can murder more people. I kind of want to do that, you know? Although dark insights into divine retribution is probably what we should be focusing on, so we can try and just... I mean, how old are we? We're 55. We don't have much life left in us, do we? And the fact that we had to go and finish off Patriarch doesn't help. <laughs> I mean, we could reset all of our perks. But all of our perks would still be... We still have nine perks in here, so there's no point. It's not like we can cross them from plane to plane. Uh, so it's execution, weeds, I mean, dark execution, dark insights is really good. Have we managed to breed some giants yet? Oh, Kulicious, let me show you. Let me show you this. Um, let me first go ahead and final decision. Yeah, I'll do this, because this will potentially give us some more in, uh, intrigue, which will help out a lot. All right, check this. We have, of our children, uh, you know, he's okay. Yeah, you know, she's okay. And she's all right. She's got some. She's got some good ones in here. He's doing a little bit better, but he's missing his Herculean status. Good old sterile here uh, is, <laughs> well, sterile. Beautiful genius and Herculean. Yes. Very good. Uh, Thrust McHugh is beautiful, genius and Herculean. Uh, Galaxy brain. Here we go. Beautiful, genius, Herculean giant. Yes. Yes. And then, right arm of the Forbidden One is, again, beautiful, genius, Herculean. Now, our daughter, our sister, our sister. Where's our sister? Our sister, Yonder Jr., is Amazonian, genius, beautiful, fecund, married to a giant albino man. And they've had no kids yet that are his. He's had no kids with her. She's been cheating on him a lot. Uh, luckily, one of them is did get fecund, so that is good. Um, the other one's just a bastard. So, yeah. We're kind of just waiting for her to actually have a giant albino man, and then we'll have the perfect one. What kinds of stress do you get from torturing, though? Oh, yeah, true. We'll get a lot of stress from torturing. It's fine. We'll do it every now and then. It won't be all the time. Is it bad that eugenics is such a fun part of this game? I mean, maybe it's bad on paper, but it's amazing in, in practice, right? It's amazing in practice. Um, oh, nice. Okay, Kalish, I've seen a bit of that game. I haven't, I haven't played it. We played it with some people a while ago and decided to make a series from the VOD. Nice. Yeah, how is that game? I've seen I've seen a couple of people play that game. It's like where you have to go and like um, essentially Ghostbuster out like some some ghosts. You have to like exorcist some like 
phantasms and whatnot out of like places, right? Right? I've I've only seen like maybe twenty minutes of it, right? And like in the middle of it, so I haven't seen. I, I'm not entirely sure. It's scary. You're a scaredy cat, so you got spooked easily and even cried a few times. Oh, we're gonna see the snow. <laughs> as long as you're having fun, though, right? As long as in the end you're still having fun. All right, so we just need to wait a little bit longer for our warmongering to wear off. Um, we'll see what we can do. I'm like half tempted to try and get some claimants to go attack. Why is the Byzantine Emperor imprisoned down here? <laughs> okay. Because we have, like, no claims against him. Brutal. Um, your favorite game was where dwarfism snuck into uh, your Alfred of Wessex line, so you had to rampage... Uh, Rampage House of English uh, Dwarfs, so only uh, that only got stopped when the bubonic plague swept through and totally killed off the dwarf trade? No way. <laughs> You're like, like, the dwarfism was slowly just absorbing your family line. That's amazing. <laughs> Trizak. <laughs> That's a good tip for that game, though. That's a good tip. Good tip. Right, let's let time continue to pass on by. Ah. Ooh. Wow. Five years of a health boost. Life reaffirmed. A chance encounter with a meal at a feast has reignited your character's passion for life. Minus 50% stress gain. That is huge. We can murder some people. <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? Imagine having a meal that good. That you're just like, you know what? Life is so worth living for. I'm gonna do everything in my power to improve my quality of life. Like, that is one. That is one heck of a meal. Drop some stress. Drop stress down so we can go murder spree. As in this firmly grip, uh, strategy, I don't think we need to do anything ridiculous and murder someone here. Uh, lose your hook on them. Spicy, they reveal any secrets, go for it. You're back, what did you miss? Uh, that was a drunk fast food. Uh, that is drunk fast food in a nutshell. <laughs> Eating a meal so good, you're like, oh, life is worth it. Life is worth everything. Butter tarts are the best? Okay, I'm terrified what a butter tart is. Is it, is it like a lot of butter? Or is it a tart that has like a slightly more than normal amount of butter in it? You had a butter tart the other day that was that, that, was that good? Oh my goodness. Oh, so you haven't lived? Are you serious? Are butter tarts that good? <gasps> uh oh. Maybe I haven't lived yet. We are earning 52.2 buccarinos per day. That's nuts. Action created against us? How dare you, peasants? Filthy peasants. Yeah, it's all these peasant rabbler. All this, it's really all the French people. They're all pissed. <laughs> They're like, we we want the French name, we want the French, like, culture to survive. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Squash the French culture. Squash it all. Everyone's Bavarian now. Because <laughs> we're earning this without doing having our steward focus on getting money. We're still getting 52.1 per day. Our steward is really busy at trying to crush all other, other, all other cultures. So that everything can be Bavarian. You're really struggling on this task, aren't you? In ten years, I'm not gonna wait. Let's take this down. <laughs> Fabricate on that, please. 
way easier. I guess just the Catholic fervor has got to be garbage, right? Yeah, the Catholic fervor is not going well. The size of the faith? Wait, the larger the faith, the less fervor. I guess that makes sense. High fervor. Orthodox is the highest fervor. Yeah, because there's not much of it. Really not much of it left. It's really hard to stamp out. Good gracious, we have so much Catholicism. Like, this is ridiculous. Look at how much Cathar there is. I mean, at least I'm, like, the top ruler, so a lot of this should slowly start turning Catholic, but the chance of it happening is so slow. It's so low, it's been crazy. Ugh. It's a very Canadian treat. Ah, okay, I see. Butter tries a butter tart and says, man, life is worth it, and feels that way for five years. Right? That is such a powerful butter tart. The sweet tart consists of a filling of butter, sugar, syrup, and egg. What? Baked in a pastry shell until uh, the filling is semi-solid with a crumbly top. Holy smokes, Llewellyn. Jeez, that sounds so sweet. <laughs> sugar, syrup, and egg in that tart. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's probably amazing. That's probably just absolutely insanely amazing. Oh, there we go. There's our hook. Or instead, we can game... Yeah, I just game more. Nah. Alright, we got a weak hook on him. Alright, you, sir. Sir? So I can take away... I can potentially take away his kingdom title. It's tyrannical. It is tyrannical. And he has a good number of troops here. But we might be able to take away his kingdom title, which would just remove his massive strength here. Because he doesn't own any territory in here. All of the territory he owns is over here. So he'll hate us. Faction this character belonging to gains 25 discontent. That's fine. 41% chance. I'll take that chance. Let's go and clean up our kingdom a bit. He's got too much power. Nice. I have no ch chance but to bow to your decision to strip me of the kingdom of Great Moravia. Thank you. So we, we ended up becoming uh, tyrannical and whatnot, but now he doesn't own this kingdom title, which is good. He's still in charge of all this over here, unfortunately. But um, what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to find like this duchy here and be like, Hey, man. Hey, yeah, you. Um, want like a kingdom title? Oh, I got all these Moravian territories as well? Where the heck did I get these? Uh, yeah, I don't I don't want any of this. There you go. So now he's got all this territory, and now he'll start fighting for his true rightful territory and start taking it from the guy who owns Bavaria, who only has 6k troops now. He's got 6k troops. So there you go. Bam. Sorted. So they can now start fighting amongst themselves to try and you know, figure that one out and see what happens. The bones explain the, the crunch. <laughs> what? I'm lost on that one. I'm lost on that one, Windpark. Geek of Brain Strats? Ah, oh, yeah. We're using, we're using our big brains on this one. Yeah, so Great Moravia is now up and running. So the next thing we need to do is Poland. Uh, I think I have Poland too, yeah? Yeah, so Poland is here, which is what's really funny, is Great Moravia only owns this territory. Oh, actually, he owns all that already. Aha, I see. Okay, well then. Maybe I just give him Poland as well. Here, have, here, have Poland. Have a kingdom of Poland. Now he can do it. <laughs> okay, because he already owned the territory he needed. But now he's the king of Poland, so all of this Bavaria territory here he's gonna want. He's gonna he's gonna covet that territory. Nice. Uh, Want to know something funny? He managed to create a character with a hundred marshal yesterday. Holy what? 
Stormy said that's insane. A hundred martial skill? What? Wait, what? <laughs> so we have lost a little bit of money here, but that's uh, money earned per month, that's fine now. He hates us again. Pfft, whatever. He's always going to hate us because he wants all this territory that we own. Truly, we just need to take this duchy, uh, this kingdom title from him. But we won't be able to do that until... That's right, you guessed it. We have to fabricate another hook on him later. Um, so we'll get on that when we can. What on earth? This guy's stuck in jail? When can I go to war with this guy? And we're not giving him this kingdom title. That's... That's what we like to call dangerous. Give it to someone else. Um, let's see, I've got a truce with you until... Next year. Okay, so, not uh, barely, a year and a half. Barely a year and a half, okay. Maybe he needs uh, to, I don't know, go away permanently. I mean, anyone who has this uh, kingdom title is going to be angry, so we just need to take the kingdom title. <laughs> we need to be like, that's mine now. Uh, once we have that kingdom title, we might actually just destroy the kingdom of Tyrol instead. So then we just have all of Bavaria under our name, which would be better. Maybe, I don't know. Because we built Tyrol because we kind of had to. But we can instead just swap it over to, you know, we can, just, we can kill this whenever we want. Vassals in the king, uh, to sure vassals in the king will lose opinion forever. Um, ten years. Um, but we could probably do that. Try to seduce him again. <laughs> we're gonna get, we're not gonna seduce him, but we'll, actually, can we try and befriend him? We have a hundred percent chance of befriending him, sure. It takes us nine months. How on earth are we going to take someone who literally wants us to, like, die the worst death we can possibly die and make him our friend? How does that work? How does that work? Oh, Upland. Upland, good job. So dwarfism is really starting to impede into a lot of people's uh, bloodlines. It's starting to really uh, finagle itself in there, huh? Uh, Italia, what can I go after? Uh, all of it, but not yet. Well, all of it, but actually I don't want to. Alright, we'll go after Fornese then. Oh, they've gained more land. We won't go after Fornese. They've gained a little bit of land. I need to remember, we're waiting for our warmongering to subside. Wait for the warmongering to subside. What are we at right now for warmongering? Oh, she's fine. Isn't mine. Oh, we just dropped a few frames. That was weird. What all about? Warmongering is minus 17. Right. We're getting there. We're just speed up time. Warp speed. Warp speed a bit. Butter tarts achieve world peace. They might. <laughs> He's a rival, but you can befriend him. Wait, is he our rival? Patient? Generous? Or diligent? Oh yeah, you're, you're diligent, son. <laughs> son, you're diligent. Trust me. It's the only way. But is he our rival? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he was. And, or if he was. Yeah, he's our rival. <laughs> okay, so our best friend is also going to be our rival. So what is this, Pokemon? <laughs> is that how this works? It's like in the Pokemon games where your best friend's your rival. Oh man, it's like, sure, I will try. We get very little stress right now. And we're in a pretty good situation for that. And we've got beasts going on too, which means that we can continue to reduce our stress. Excellent. Very good. Life reaffirmed. Looks like we got another one of those delicious butter tarts. Dwarfism seems uh, resilient. It went down uh, at least four generations and only the plague stopped it. That's ridiculous. Jeez. It's very powerful. Oh yeah, look, our stress is great. Sorted. I mean, we, between our Leisure Palace and many other things, our uh, stress reduction trait is nuts. Oh my goodness. This... You have no money. You're in some really bad crusade. Oh, you're crusading for Jerusalem right now. Yeah, good luck with that. 
So we can go for this claim over the Kingdom of Aquitaine. Which I think I would like to do. And it's within the realms of cost. She can, she's got the... She, she's got the claims for empires. Uh, and Kingdom of Italy. So we'll just use Kingdom of Italy against that one. But Francia, we can take Aquitaine. Uh, let's just go... Let's mop up Italy. Let's mop up Italy. Oh no, you only have the empire of. What? I thought you had the kingdom of. You do. Why can't I press this claim? Awkward, okay. Uh, well, then in which case we can just go for Aquitaine. Uh, that is going to make us the target for the Umayyads, though. Unfortunately. But expansion is expansion, and sometimes it's necessary. When was the last time you prayed to your god emperor of man? Um, all the time? What are you talking about? Although, actually, it does bring up a good question. Should we start looking into potentially creating a new Catholic faith? That's something we should do. <laughs> like, we can. Look at all these symbols, those are cool. Yes, create your own faith. What's kind of the benefit for creating your own faith? I haven't played around with that. Cooler Catholic faith, the CCF. <laughs> I haven't played around with this. I haven't really looked into it much. Oh, we don't even have nearly enough uh, piety for it. But it's something to look into. Force those heretics to obey the god emperor of man. Um, in which we can actually change things. Only divine have the right to work miracles on this earth. Now we'd, we'd probably just shun this. Always costs more piety to change these. No adultery will leave it as a crime. Sim 6 is shunned, shunned. Close kin is criminal. It's accepted. <laughs> kin slang is accepted. Nah, it's, it's not good. Um, bastards are legitimate, legitimized. Bastards can be legitimized if their head of house approves. They never be legitimized. And there's no such thing as bastard. All children are equally legitimate. Wow. Look at that. Monogamous, one spouse, polyamorous, oh. Rulers, if allowed by gender law, can have up to four spouses. Having too few spouses will incur piety penalties. Or consort and concubines. You have one spouse, but you can have up to three concubines. Hmm. Concubine's probably better, right? Divorce? Must be allowed? Always allowed. <laughs> Always. What is this? Marriage between cousins, aunts, and like are allowed. Sexual relations, unrestricted. Cousin marriage. Close kin taboo. Marriage between extended family is restricted. So you can marry sister and brother <laughs> if you went with unrestricted marriage. Jeez. Uh, we'll probably, well, now nah, we'll probably leave it as, as, as it currently is. Leave it as it currently is. Um, view on gender. Male dominant, equal, and female dominant. Oh, you can switch that around. No way. That's awesome. We'll leave it as male dominant for now. Um, religious attitude. Adheres to other faiths. Of, uh, opinion of 200%. Uh, conversion speed plus 20%. Counties of other faiths are more likely to join factions. Ooh, incre uh, increased danger of heresy uh, when low fervor. Oh, really? Okay. And revoked lands from hostile and evil infidels will not incur tyranny. This is kind of middle of the road. And this one is adherence uh, from other faiths' opinions is 50%. Conversion speed is minus 20 Probably leave that as is. I think we should directly control their own temple holdings and get all associated benefits. Temple holdings are leased out. They're holded from priests. 
Only, uh, only then serves them. Okay, interesting. Take the Byzantine Empire. Oh yeah, we're gonna need to take the Byzantine Empire for sure. And head of the faith. None. No head of the faith. Fervor cannot go below twenty-five. Right. Wait, what? And for, like fervor just never goes below twenty-five percent. Is he, it is utter folly to assume that one person can truly comprehend the will of God. We must follow our hearts to discover what his plan is for us. Um, there's a head, there's a head who can grant claims and can grant gold. kind of like being able to get gold. It's kind of nice. Position of head of the faith oh, is given to the founder of the faith and passed to their primary heir when they die. If the faith has holy wars, the head of the faith is allowed to direct the war and choose the war targets. Oh, yeah. Faith cannot be both uh, centric. Oh, I see. Interesting. So we would have to change this to lay. And we'd also have to change religious attitude. What's this? Not have both spiritual and I'm missing something. Oh, spiritual, here you go. Okay, so it's down here. For life. Appoints all realm priests. Rulers appoint own priests. Oh my goodness, that'd be so nice. <laughs> oh my goodness, it'd be so nice. Um either way, we don't have enough, so we're not doing it now, but a couple more ideas. A couple more ideas. We need way, way more piety. We don't even have half of the piety we need to go and make the religion. But uh, now I've got ideas. Now I know what to look for. So this is good. It's good. Oof, some bad civil war. Oh, look, we're friends now. <laughs> um, yeah, we're friends. Or at least we're friendly. I can't befriend. Are, are we already friends? I literally don't see it in here saying friends, just friendly. Weird. Sterile has come of age. Good boy. Good man. You'll get through this fertility nonsense. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. I know you will. You've got the skills that you need. You'll get through it. Get through it. Ah. Good. Make it so. Alright. So now... Can I murder this guy? Where do do I have enough people that I can invite to murder this guy? I feel like I can since he's in a jail. <laughs> right? Team power, bribe, join me, bribe, join me, bribe, join me. Alright, how are we looking with these? Um, uh, Dustman Huge is honest or he's deceitful? Honest gives two diplomacy minus four to intrigue, and this is the vice versa. And you currently have better intrigue. No, you got better diplomacy. We'll keep you going, honest. Keep your honesty going. Oh my goodness. Thrust McHuge. Crushing it. Uh, keep some mint. You can go and enforce and in uh, encourage improvements, or you can increase levies. Now, improvements are fine. Alright, good. We've got him sorted. Ooh, map, yeah, we'll map the surroundings ourselves. So eight months, we'll go murder this man, and as soon as he's murdered, we'll be allowed to go and we'll be allowed to go to war with him again because he'll be murdered, which will be great. Um, and then we'll be able to fill out the inner inner territory of good old Tarot. In the meantime, let's get in there. We got some lands to take. 
We've got we gotta go fill out this area. This little bastion here. Oh, that was a mistake. Why would you do that? Alrighty, 50% now. Okay, we've got it at like five times speed. So we've been waiting. So over here. Sieged. Move on over from wall sieging. Oh my goodness. Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome raiders. Uh Kakashi. Kakashi. What were you up to today? What were you playing today? Curse undone. <gasps> he died. Sir. Nice. <laughs> He's dead now. Who's in charge of Bavaria? This man? Oh, uh, he's in charge of, like, nothing. Wait, what? Why is he over here, but in charge of Bavaria over here? That's really awkward. I need that Duchy Bavaria from you for sure, sir. I don't need these territories. I just need... Okay, I guess we take everything. I'll have to sort that out. Uh, you're looking at a new empire? Nice. TK3, uh, to start, then Valorant. How is Valorant? I haven't played that game. Well, our empire is tuned pretty good so far. Oh, we're doing well. Doing very well. Tarol is crushing it. Let's go finish up the siege here and we've got this covered. Fun, enraging, and awesome. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, amazing. Alright, we got Divine Retribution. You know what that means. It's time for us to go and peruse our dungeons and see who's been a naughty person and needs to be horrifically punished for it. Uh, also, we need to get down here and start sorting out more of this garbage religion nonsense. Get out of my lands! Uh, what is it, 20 years, 20 years, 27 years, 25 years. So it looks like we have to go after green. So we're going to take out Trent. Good gracious. Um, Alright, so they'll go ahead and they'll finish sieging that on their own. Actually, this guy can actually go ahead and... Assault. Alright, now... We need to go to the dungeons. Who's ready to go check out the dungeons? I know who I am. Do you have money to go free? You do. You're safe. You may go free. Do you have money to go free? You do. You're safe as well. Lucky, lucky. How about you? Oh, this fornicator over here. What, are, what on earth can we do? Well, we gotta learn a little something, don't we? Oh, we gained a dark... We gained an intrigue. Nice. Little little bit of torture. It only hurts them. Little little torture never hurt me before. A little bit of torture. Oh my goodness, we got some prowess. Yeah, free prowess out of that. Nice. Ah, nothing. Use a dud. Ah, oh, it's a child. You can't torture children. A little bit of torture. Oh, didn't learn anything either? Ah, it's unfortunate. Hey, more intrigue. We're up to intrigue. Now we're talking. I know the child can't do anything with that child. Not yet. Not for another year. Not for two years for her. What about you, ma'am? A little bit of torture. We got a little stress. We're a little stressed. It's fine. No worries. It doesn't hurt at all. At least not for me. It's exactly right. Child. 44-year-old. Nope. What about you? Hey, we're at three intrigue out of this so far. This can go real well. Nope, nothing. Nothing. Ah, we're getting duds. Come on now. There we go, some more prowess. And... Nothing. Well, that's pretty good. Because now if we go to us, we'll go over here to... Where is it? Foundation, foreign guards, sound, foundation, sound, foundation, confident. Right, well, hold on a second. Give, give a quick moment here. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of, it's a lot of, it's a lot of torture, all right? We're very stressed right now, though. So, do keep in mind, we are quite stressed. 
But um, we'll get that sorted soon enough here. Payment. Perfect. Now, where on earth can I find my bonuses? What? Where are my bonuses? We should have, like, plus three intrigue from this. Plus three entry from Dark Insights. It can get up to plus five. Nice. Uh, and our prowess here has gone up two as well. That can go up to five. Our prowess is 34? Holy moly, that's terrifying. We can murder an army on our own. Jeez. Yeah, right. Happy birthday. Enjoy some torture. Just have another butter tart? Yeah, give him a butter tart and it'll be good. Yeah, they'll be fine. We'll just need to get him a butter tart. It's good. Why are we losing so much money? Oh, yeah, we have a lot of troops up. That's right. I knew that. Sorted. Troops. Uh, wow, look at all these territories here. All these baronies. Uh, grant this to a Bavarian Catholic man. You're not Catholic, but we'll give it to you. And we'll make you Catholic. Oh, you better convert. Don't make me don't make me take this gift away. I will. Thank you. Look, now I get to see your gorgeous locks. Much better. Blessed be God. Yes. Yes. Alright, we just have one little eyesore left inside our borders, and after that, well, then after that we have to come over here and sort out this one. Can we go to war for this territory, please? Yeah, we can. Do you own anything else, ma'am? Or is this, like, your only, yeah, it's your only one. Du jour for 90 buccarinos? Yeah, we'll probably do that. And by probably, I mean we'll do it right now. <laughs> or probably, I mean, like, immediately. Let's go raise our troops in Krakow. That war's done. We can literally just pay attention to anything else we want for a while. Unwelcome guests. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Oh, no, he died in jail. Oh, it happens. You know, shucks. You know, gosh darn it. It occurs from time to time. Uh, who is he again, and why did we murder him? Oh, yeah, that's right, because now I can go immediately to war with you. I see. Hold on. I don't remember. It's so that we don't have a we don't have a truce with this guy anymore. They've got a war for like this territory, I think, right? Okay, so they're helping. Let's see if we can actually finish this war real quick. It depends on how fast we can besiege this. Passively pick up the rest of our troops from over here. Uh, what is the Dynasty Warrior level pro uh, promise? Ah, yes. So that comes from right here. Oh, no, it doesn't. We don't have that unlocked. I thought we did. Well, never mind. Uh, we're getting close to being able to do this from our piety, but I don't think that's important. We're just going to get this House of Warriors here for extra prowess and extra knight. Good. Bam. Um, and then next, we'll probably do Bounteous Loins. I, I actually prefer the lower tier stuff than the higher tier ones. I know they're like, life expectancy, I'm like, but trading rulers doesn't really matter if you do it well. And the thing is, like, getting the congenital traits sorted out, we've got it already sorted. The resilient bloodline, if we do that, it reduces your chance of getting giants. And that sounds bad to me. Because we need giantism in our family. Oh, yes we do. Uh, galaxy brain, no, you're not allowed to become compassionate. Uh, you're going to have to become callous, for sure. For sure, you're callous, not compassionate. We're compassionate, and we realize that's bad. No, it says from your 35 prowess was Dynasty Warriors types of prowess. Old age is starting to get us now. Hmm. Yeah, old age is starting to take us fortunate indeed. How's it going, Muffins? Yes, our empire grows. Its power is actually getting pretty close to unlimited. <laughs> We're getting to the point where uh, we have so many troops, it just doesn't matter anymore. We just sort it out. We 
you can get there in time to help out with uh, the siege have at it, but you know, whatever. Once this is done, we'll go to this war over here, grab this little bit, and then um, we're all consolidated. Everything, everything in mainland is consolidated, and now we have to start scooting down the aisle here. Bam! Expand all. Right, so she keeps the territory. She just now has to. She's now subservient to us. Perfect. Uh, anyone have a good claim against Palmerania yet? No. No. No, we even lost that good one over there. Not to claim. Not to claim. I guess we could take those two pieces. <laughs> but it's not, not as great as I was hoping. Alright, you. Yeah, I'm literally just gonna go ahead and... Take the county from you. It's the only county he has left. So we'll take his kingdom title when... Or the kingdom title will be destroyed when we take him. Got a 10k. <laughs> Let's get in there and just crush him. Just warp speed this. This isn't gonna be hard. Are you gonna take over the world? We're trying. We're trying for sure. Varian ah, has been installed. Good. Very good. We're slowly adding more and more Bavarian culture. <laughs> We've spread it out pretty far. I'm pretty happy with that. People haven't just idly been going Bavarian, unfortunately. As much as it would be nice, this hasn't quite happened yet. We'll just continue to expand out. Let's continue to just continue to expand outwards. We'll probably jump down here into Italy next. Your music really blasting? Oh yeah, no, every time we go to war, the music's like dun dun dun. Um, although I did I did love it when we were going to war with all these people over here and it kept resetting the music. That was so funny. That was so funny to me. I gotta quick siege it. Got troops. Bam. Look over here. Grant this territory. Give the territory to a Christian Bavarian. There we go. Catholic Bavarian. There we go. Flame. Catholics. Woo! All right. So they're they're in charge of sorting out that Cathar over there. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. Good gracious! It takes so long to deal with these religions. Whew. All right, perfect. Done and done. Talk to the confident. Yeah. Oh nope. Come back here, you. Confident. Yep. Yep, <laughs> get that stress down. Um, out of faith, we'll go ahead and get some more money. Emma will go and get some more money. Marry Sterile off. Sterile, I would like you to marry someone. Well, age probably matters the most here, honestly. Who's a giant? It's not going to help our, <laughs> our negative traits. But giantess would still be good to have. It's actually quite healthy. Their health isn't good. Giant hurts their health for sure. Look at this Norse lass. This, this giant Norse. Get her in here. Get my monies. Right, good. The marriage is on. All right, good luck, you two. We need some big bo we need some big boys and some big girls. The biggest children you can possibly have. That's exactly what we need. All right, so we're gonna let more time pass here. Uh, now we're not gonna become a drunkard. We'll make him dislike us. That's fine. Uh, we can go ahead and find some more support, uh, or we can get stressed. Find some more support. Not quite enough, but it should be enough that when we get a hunting thing, we'll be fine. Oh, 
or, I mean, one more round for everyone. Dress gone. Bam! Sterile still alive? Yeah, Sterile just got married. Sterile is 17 years old. No longer overwhelmingly stressed. No, we're just gonna keep picking the options to bring down our stress. That's that's what matters here. I just need low stress. Ah, we're a legendary reveler now. Yes. Invite us to our, to your parties because we are the best person to have there because we are the life of the party. And also it makes it so we're not stressed, which is very good. We need that. Less stress, please, thanks. Um, acquaintance taken prisoner. Well, that's unfortunate for him. Wow, was it 4K? Good. A lot of criminals again. Let's start throwing some of them in jail. Hopefully the ones that we can get something. Ah, dang. There. <laughs> Gerd. Oh my goodness, Llewellyn. Perfect. <laughs> It's gonna be a bit until we get more children, though. Probably, we, I doubt we're gonna get any more children with old uh, Gerpard here. We're probably gonna have to wait until we end up uh, dying. So we're probably another, what, 20 years out? Before we start having children again. In this family, we can start naming them. Our stress is pretty sorted, so we can go ahead and run this down. Good. Good. <laughs> Ermagard. What a what a name, right? Ermagard. It's such a good name. Right, Trizak? Trizak agrees. Yes, another party? <laughs> Don't you mind if I do. Ooh, she's a traitor, she ran for it. She ran for it. All right, I'm a. We're gonna have to throw you in here. I'm sorry, my niece. We'll absolve you of your sins. A weak claim on you. Let you go. We ransomed her for a couple of pennies, but that's fine. We'll take the weak claim. Ah, my good gracious, these buttered tarts are the best. Constantly, what stress? No stress? Perfect. Well, speaking of no stress, there's only one thing left to do. Why, it's to learn a little more. Am I right? You gotta do a little bit of learning. tortured them recently. I know I tortured him. I know I tortured him. You're 17 now. Congratulations, kid. You're an adult. <laughs> tortured. Yeah, she's too young. But she can ransom her. Uh, no one wants to pay. Well, that's not going to happen. Nope. 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 Tortured those who could. Gotta wait for the rest. Uh, let's see here. We'll whip this one. Stretch her on the rack. We'll whip him. Uh, stretch her on the rack. Oh, okay. Well, we gained a little bit, yeah? Was it, was it an entry that we got? No, it must have been prowess. Oh my goodness, yeah, our prowess is now plus four from our dark insights. Nice. So we can only get one more Dark Insight for Prowess, and then it has to be uh, Intrigue. So we can only get three more. It's a really good boost when you have a lot of people in jail. From Handshake gets a... Oh, no. From Handshake, no. That could be bad. There we go. Our stress is pretty much removed again. Perfect. Yeah, let's continue to be... Passive. Go ahead and reach over and grab my tea. A little more tea here. Perfect. Very nice. You think your vassals are going to hate you? Uh, since every time you go above your domain limit, uh, you give it to your son. 
You can't inherit the Merchant Republic? Oh, I see. That's good. So you'll be out of having a Merchant Republic soon. That's good. Nice. Uh, you'll rule the day you mistreated Firm Handshake like that? What? I, I, I didn't mistreat him. I just didn't let him cover for me being drunk. That's all. I just had it so he didn't cover me for me being drunk. <laughs> Why would I rue the day of him not covering for me? What? That doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> what are you talking about, Trezak? Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be just fine. Alright, so I think it's time for us to start looking at wars. I really don't want to do France, though. Again, it's just... I want him to be a buffer. <laughs> to be, be my buffer. Oh, we can jump over here. I guess we, we can go for, like, literally... the entire kingdom. Any, no, we don't have really anything on Palm, unfortunately. So let's take a look at all these tiny territories next to Palm, though. I feel like go pick up something from here, yeah? Not looking there. Smidgen will land here. Oh, he's got the oh, he's got the great pro the great pox. Gross. Doesn't look like I've got a lot of options up here. Yeah, so parts and pieces, it looks like, but nothing nothing huge. Nothing big, unfortunately. Mm. Byzantine Empire, I don't think it's going to be any different. What, can, maybe we can go fight these guys. Be a big war. Oh my goodness, is he at the center? He is. We can fight these guys. I mean, yeah, we can fight them for the entire kingdom. Sardinia. We could go for all of Aquitaine now. But Sardinia would at least give us all of Sardinia. Got a lot of troops though. Really don't want to fight him first if I can help it. I'd rather continue to just expand in places that we can. Uh, like you, for example. What is this? Why do you have this territory here? And declare war for this county. Alright. They own this too? That's really weird. Oh, oh no, it's probably this count. Yeah, no, this is an ally. Okay. It's a holy war, though. So holy wars are dangerous because anyone can join it if they want. So, as you can see, um, that territory there is the same religion. So we would be in trouble. Uh, they'd be able to join in. Um, what about you? Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, five provinces? Awkward expansion, but something like I'll take it, right? Really, we're just looking at whatever we can take right now. Francie owns this. Who owns this? Are you on your own? Oh. Okay, cool. So we can take this piece here for 90, 90 prestige. Perfect. Let's go grab this one. Alright, we can. Move this rally point to here. Rally up. Step on in. Oh. What's, oh, I guess the river is unpassable? Really? That is a thick river. Good <laughs> gracious. Oh, there's a bridge over here. How's it going, Bright Viper Fruit? How are you doing today? Welcome back. We are expanding the territory of the Empire of Tyrol. Thick river? Yeah. It's the thickest river. 
What's wrong with Merchant Republic? Merchant Republic's are pretty good. Uh, you don't get the feudal bonuses and whatnot, though. Um, I do like feudal more than Merchant Republic, but I only played Merchant Republic once, and not all the way through, because it was a multiplayer game with Enigmatic Rose. So, I'm not too sure on my final opinions for it. Once you get back to feudal, you're going to have your female rulers... Uh, have to have female rulers for the Empire. Can't stand playing as Merchant Republic. <laughs> They're aiming for imperialism. Thanks. Right, big breach. Take her down. Take it down. Bam. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Welcome to the Empire. No, no, nothing we can go for on that one. How about you? Nope. Ireland? No? We're war on Ireland. I'm feeling none of these are going to be big claims. That's not too bad. It's like, what, three duchies? Yeah, three duchies. It's not too bad, but I mean, I don't, I don't want Ireland itself. Not yet, at least. I want to continue to expand down here while we can. Uh, 16 things make more important. All right, let's go ahead and... Wow, we finally finished that key. Perfect. So Innsbruck is built. Innsbruck is built. Mutant is built. Brixen is built. You're built. 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 You're not, not even close. You're not even close. Okay, so we got the barracks up and running. And we got the wheat field going. More money. Perfect. Um, converted to French. What? Where are they appearing group? I think it's ours, yeah? Yeah, because we're doing heraldry. Right, so heraldry is now only six years out. They're currently still working on horseshoes, which is four years out. So that's perfect. So we'll have increased movement speed of 10% in four years, and we'll be able to keep the lion's share of our titles when we die. Uh, our heir gets most of them. Not all of them, but most of them. And that's important, because uh, that way we don't have to spend the first, like, 10 years trying to reconsolidate our power. We can just go straight into it. All for a hunt? Sure. Any more prestige. We're struggling to go to war. Ah, oh, great eminence. Very nice. The huge is looking good. Okay, peasant uprising where? Here. Of course. For us. Right, in which case, we're just gonna go ahead and raise some troops. We're gonna say go on. Just, just go on ahead. Take them down. <laughs> we don't need to do anything. Super easy. We have to fight them. As soon as we fight them once, got it. Foraging, we find peasants denied forest, or we aid the peasants. They like us. No, that is fine. Ooh, scandalous pope. We will defend the pope, but it's going to hurt us with prestige and piety. But the pope will like us more, which means we can get more money from him. Let's just seek indulgences. I can give him that 750 back for, for some piety that we just... Okay. Yeah, I don't think that's... This doesn't make any sense. Lost too much. Unmarried heir. Alright. Thrust McHuge. We need to get you married. Uh, you're currently controlling most of the 2B Byzantine Empire at the moment. So hopefully, not too long until you have a Byzantine Empire, and then you can adopt Imperialism. Nice. That'll be good. Uh, you attack a single county and instantly gets... you. If you attack a single county, and you instantly get 10.8 threat. Uh, my goodness. Okay, threat? I'm really enjoying CK3 with no threat. No threat just means we get to go to war with everyone whenever we want, all the time, with no big massive defensive pacts against us. That essentially is what created World War One, right? Everyone being allianced to another. It's good. Um, let's go ahead and have you marry up. 
Zero year old's actually in a pretty good state, but not as good as I'd like. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna marry you yet. Find you a fecund giant? If only we could. There are no fecund giants in the in the dating market right now. <laughs> we'll have to wait until the pool is uh, replenished. We wait till there's some more fish. Okay. Good. Let's go ahead and close this. Um, you work for me now. She's stupid. <laughs> Aw. She had a peasant revolt, but she's stupid. Poor lady. There's no choice but to join? Good. She might be useful. We'll see. What happened, Stormies, now? What are you doing? What fell apart? Your son uh, got a child who will inherit the Merchant Republic? Well, rip. <laughs> Honestly, you just need to destroy the Merchant Republic title. And that'll fix your problem. You just gotta destroy that title. The title's too dangerous. It's a dangerous title. It must... It must be purged. It must be purged. Purge man, skip. Alright, so how close are we now? Uh, offensive war, we're now at negative 10. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Plots. Actually, wait a second. We haven't blackmailed anyone in a while. And our stress is nice and low, and we're getting it even lower because of this feast. Case point. Let's go ahead and let's, let's blackmail some people. Just rocket our stress right through the roof. And we'll go ahead and calm them back down. Good, good. Oh, for non believer. Okay, perfect. Alright. Oh my goodness, what? <laughs> we can lose 70 stress. Ugh, oh, if only we did all this ahead of time. Here comes all the stress. Wow, a lot of them are willing to have us out their secrets. Honestly surprised. Honestly surprised. Farewell, uncle. Bam. Stressed down. Blam. Just like that. Uh, another fact, your son is basically immortal? Wait, what? So your plan is most like, uh, will most likely work? How is your son essentially immortal? Does he have just like all of the beneficial health trait things? Hold a feast of our own? Yep. Hold a feast of our own. Very nice. Demand payment, pay money, pay money, pay money. You can marry. Yeah, well, that's a, we're really going to have to wait until we can find some, some women of better stock. You're back again? Welcome back. What did you miss? Uh, we just cleaned out the, um, the innermost parts of our nation here. We just cleaned out the innermost parts of our nation here. Oh my goodness. More and more and more. And we just we're just struggling to keep a keep a lid on it for sure. The Catholics are starting to really struggle here. Mm. You're playing with a fantasy mod? So the life expectancy is about ten thousand years? Holy smokes, okay. Alright, Stormy Snow, jeez. What about a albino woman for thrust? Maybe. Maybe we can get thrust an albino woman. Right, thrust him huge. Albino. That one here with the great pox might not be a bad call. <laughs> no. Um, so we've got one that's two year old that's quick and one that's 23 and quick. You take her. 23 quick. Um, evil Z. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I 
I don't know if we want her. Currently your uh, character is a regular human. Ah, but your son is like an absolute mad lad, yeah? Uh, but yeah, Viper, Viper's Brood, like, threat is just the most annoying thing in CK2. Like, I really dislike it. I mean, I understand why it's a thing, it's just really annoying. Right, we're gonna have to find someone better for him. It's just not good enough. Very dare. All right, so we're going to let time pass. Uh, ruler is being converted. Oh, no! Is this in our realm? All right, so we're going to have to go and do um, some very awkward calling people out. Um, how do we... Can I get a list of people in my realm? Find character. Here we go. Um, relation. Realm. Uh, religion. Not, not Christianity. Or it's just not Christendom. Not, yeah, there you go. Not Catholicism. Here we go. Alright. Here's our list. I demand you convert. Demand you convert. Man, you convert. <laughs> we'll start with those three, and let's start convert. Let's start demanding everyone converts. Yeah, we'll pay money to have you change. Pay money to have you change. Um, no. Nope. Price to pay for you, so I can imprison you. Get in my jail. Oh no, not a war. Oh, we're actually trying to change the culture over there right now. Pfft. Seconds. All right, twenty thousand troops. It's just uh, one of those dead. March our twenty thousand troops down here real quick. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna start just uh, removing people of not the proper religion out of here. Oh, for goodness' sake! Seriously, again? This this duchy down here. All right, we'll kick him out of there in a minute. Let me go deal with some religion nonsense. But yeah, so we're just gonna go and start demanding everyone change their religion over so that we can get this sorted. All right, Dreadful, what do we want? Let's see. Find secrets faster, disrupt things, murder people more easily, fertility, seduction, or dread gain. Honestly, I think we go with um, murder scheme. And we'll jump back over here. <laughs> jump back, jump back over here to do more wealth. And now we can murder people more easily. <laughs> yes. Oh, did I do that right, or did I miss one? Because now I'm thinking about it. But yeah, because it couldn't go. Yeah, we can't go to this until this is filled up. Okay, yeah, yeah. I feel like this worked out. Huh? Let's get in here. Take them down. Give them no quarter. Uh, was a horse? You had your horse killed? Oh no! It's not good. Oh nice, horse and dead. Perfect. Let's go over here, siege this down, and we're done. <laughs> Easy. Battle won and captured air. Perfect. We got our siege guy in charge here, too, so it should be nice and quick for us to siege this down. But yeah, we're just gonna essentially go to war and... and whatnot, and just change everyone over. If everyone who's in charge, and all the random people in the nation as well, are all Catholic, they'll start slowly removing all of this on their own. So we really want to get on top of it to ensure that we have them doing a lot of the work as well. If we have to do all the legwork, it's gonna take a long time for us to get there. Bam. Done. Any money that? Oh, we got four, 49 bucks. Thank you. You, sir. Good. Uh, troops. Bam. 
troops. Back to this man, this man, not revoke. Negotiate. Change your religion and give me a hook so I can then force you to give me money. He's a kinslayer. Oh! <gasps> He murdered someone, how dare he? I now demand payment of all of the money you have on hand. Thank you. Alright. Perfect. Let's go back down here. Oh, is that just a... Can I just hotkey C? I can. Nice. Alright, Vassal. Demand change. Change. Vassal, demand change. Uh, you did enjoy some of those crazy events in CK2? Yeah. Uh, well, your pet rabbit was... Uh, wants to rule France? What? I, I love... It. Whenever you're playing as, like, a crazy character in, um... CK2, that was always funny. Okay, two of them decided yes. Well, you will pay the price in this world. The faith is too strong, you say? Too strong? You say? Get in my jail, sir. How dare you refuse to be forcibly converted? How dare you? We'll make you see the light one way or another for sure. Um, and now I'll demand your conversion and I'll take a hook, so I'll take a lot of money, thanks. You wanna get out of jail? Perfect. Change your mind. Excellent. Now, give me your money. Okay, so that's those three. Let's go to the next one. Uh, you, sir. Demand conversion. So yeah, there's a lot of these people that actually do not have uh, the same religion as us. So that's really got to hurt their opinion of us as well. Yeah, look at all these rulers that actually are not following our religion. Yikes. This is this is actually really important we're doing this then. Remember once you... One, uh, you remember once making a horse a commander... Giving it a dukedom. And then when your character went a bit more weird and did questionable things with the horse, the horse hosted a party. What? <laughs> Stories know what? <laughs> oh man, what a wild ride. Uh, demand payments. Demand payments. Alright, she's converted. Good. I'll pay for you to convert, that's fine. And I only wish for your salvation. You, you've refused. Wait, what? Did it not work? Maybe not. You can just tyrannically imprison him, I think that's fine. <laughs> It's fine, right? Just tranquilly imprison him. There's an 88% chance that he makes it out. It's fine. Listen, he'll like us more because we'll be of the same faith, okay? Negotiate. Change your mind. And pay me because you didn't let me uh, forcibly change your mind before. Perfect. Alright, done. I mean, again, we're, we're pulling in some tyranny and whatnot. Some people are gonna get grumpy, whatever, it's fine. Because as soon as everyone follows the same rule of uh, rule of thinking here, we'll be good. Oh my, go oh my goodness. There's a lot of people in here that we have to go sort out. We can start from the bottom. These guys should be a little easier down here. Oh, can we not? Maybe not. Alright, we'll stick to the top. We'll go top bottom. Top to bottom then. Next. 7%. Oh, it might be a struggle. Do three at a time. I just want to make sure that we don't go too crazy with forcibly converting people. Uh, only wish for your salvation. So is this when faith's too strong? Um, just a penny goes down. Be swayed, I would rather... Interesting. So I can't force him at that point. Which is when we're just going to imprison him. Ooh, he's not... He's over in Brittany. We'll forcibly imprison him. He's gonna say no and we'll have a fight. That's fine. 
we'll pay her off. Pay him off, it's fine. Oh my goodness, okay, that was a much bigger word than I expected. Uh oh. <laughs> Rally the troops. Alright, we pissed off way more people than expected. We Hungary got Hungary's pissed. Come on, ma'am. Should be fine. Ugh. Okay, this is Christendom. Uh, good, yeah, like, the, the problem is, like, we... Catholicism is a real problem, because it's just, it is really rocky. We, we can't constantly keep people in control. But we are forcing a lot of them to change, so we did get a lot on the roll there. Uh, let's see if there's anyone in here that we can still move that... You know, we might have a chance of. Yeah, 100% chance with him. That's a might. It's too low. Alright, uh, we're gonna have to go trounce these guys as quickly as we can here. <laughs> Jeez. Um, yeah, this is gonna be really obnoxious war. Uh, let's get down here to Brittany as quickly as we can. Jump down there. Let's pop over here real quick. Let's go ahead to the military. Let's go to another rally point. We'll rally point over in Lyon. Lyon. Get over there. And we'll take our 20-something thousand troops and split them across all of Brittany. And that should solve our problem. We'll use the other one as more or less a hit squad. Right, he converted. Good. The other one we have to pay? No, we don't. Well, I mean, while we're here, let's go and prison him, too. <laughs> if we're already causing ourselves problems, why not, right? There you go. Solved. Uh, go ahead and negotiate, convert, and pay me. Okay, give me some money. He's out. And now I demand retribution in the form of hard glinting coin. Let's just go ahead and get down here. Honestly, this hit squad should go grab some people. Uh, but we'll jump down here and we'll start sieging. Oh, they grow up so fast, Galaxy Brain! Well done, Galaxy Brain. Well done. So how long is this? Just a couple more days. Yeah, we're just going to spread them across all of Brittany. And that should be fine. Uh, the problem is over here, it's a lot of troops on this side. So we'll just absentmindedly stand here and start sieging, but once everything else starts to coalesce into a big blob, we'll have to do something. Right, good. Split. You. Over there. You. Split. You. Over there. You. Or once they move, we'll split them and we'll swap another one to go to a different territory, probably like over here, over here. I'm not sure this walking in there. So, okay, okay. Split. Let's get you over here. Oh, come here, you. Right. Get over there. Get the Rhines. Yeah, I'll just siege this down. Siege this down here. Quick siege this too. It's a bit of an edge. <laughs> this other war is something going on down here. I haven't even checked. What's going on? Alright, they've actually started sieging this. We're gonna have to go raise some troops here in a second, or else we're gonna get in trouble. So let's quick siege this, lower the troops, and go fight those guys. I guess we'll quick siege this, kill these guys, and lower our troops. That's 8% to a victory already. Go beat up these guys. We got superior troops, but we should be able to knock them out. They just have a sixth of our number. So six K is coming in, or maybe not. I don't know where they're planning on. Go okay. They're getting on boats. <laughs> Why are you getting on boats? What are you gonna do with a boat? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Ransom prisoners. Our rival. I mean, if it's our rival, can we just murder him? Nice. Get out of here, rival. <laughs> Dead and gone. 
Uh, and then you, uh, I will negotiate a release. And then we'll force her to pay us some money in a minute. So we got them, and I crushed them. Okay, uh, they're now becoming problematic over here. Keep moving away from enemies so we can go and lower these troops. Unfortunately, there's a hostile band nearby. We need to make it so we can raise these troops on the other side quickly. Before they move in. Not nah, too late, they moved in. We'll try and raise troops over here if we can then. Go over here. Over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, orange. Get moved to here. Location is in enemy territory. Ooh. Well, never mind then. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll just raise our troops from this spot. These 4k here. Move them in. Should be fine. From there we'll be able to sort it. Whoa, what just... Oh! I think Aquitaine just got stolen. I don't know. Maybe Aquitaine, they still have it. What just happened? <laughs> it just split up into parts. Uh-oh. Well, there goes that wall. That's gonna be awkward. Oh, Leon is here. Hello, Leon. Wait, Leon is fighting us? Really? Oh, it's in the Dutch. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's in this war here. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. These are going to take a while. That one's almost done now. These are going to take a while. <laughs> we'll move him up once we get it. Um, it's going to be a lot of sieging over here, but we'll end up getting him in a big fight at some point, and that'll get us the big win that we need. Okay. Siege, we're already at 20%. Let's go ahead and move forward. Aquitaine just exploded in a civil war and lost. Yeah, it does not look good. I mean, we knew Francia was going to be struggling to hold itself together. Um, it's just kind of funny when you see it. Talk to a confidant. We literally don't need to. We're perfectly fine. Go over here. But yeah, we just need to get these troops down here. We can beat the snot out of them. Oh, what on earth is Hungary doing with their 6,000 troops on the water over here? So Hungary went and took their troops, brought them to the coast, and got on the ocean in the Adriatic Sea, and our... Sailing around to Brittany, I guess? In which we're just gonna stack everyone together and we'll just completely trounce them by numbers. Ah, it's gonna be a little awkward by count here. We're gonna have a bit of a negative because we just came in from boat. We'll still beat them up though. We'll still win. Just a little awkward. Oh! Is like everyone gonna come in and fight? Oh, that's really awkward. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> can we still win this? Yes, we can. Oh, yeah, because they also have the boat negative, too. Perfect, perfect. Okay, okay. Alright, alright, alright. We got them. 22% because of battles. Nice. And that just gives us 9% because they just try it. They're like, well, he's busy fighting a war. Maybe we can get in there and take advantage of it. I'm like, oh, oh, you can try. We I mean, beat the snot out of him. Alright, working on this. We just have to pay attention to the boats on the coast. I don't want these guys to get caught out. As long as we're able to fold them all together, we'll be able to take care of it. No problem. Oh, nice. We'll beat these guys up, too. All right, so we'll have this done in a minute. What do we actually get for this? If we enforce demands, what, we get, what, dread? Um, and we imprison the duke? What? Okay. Wait, no, I think this is the wrong one. If we... This one, here we go. Hey, I was going to say, wait a second. All right, if we win, we get some money. You want to just white peace and be done? Yeah, that's fine. Let's just wait peace. I don't need to win this. I'd rather have my troops back up there for the other war. Going to port at Innsbruck. Hey. Oh, this is our sister. Yeah, she can just rejoin. That's fine. <laughs> it's like, hey, this person's got some skills. Wait a second. Alright, got a little bit of prestige and whatnot. Why is this not friendly territory? What are we sieging? Oh, these guys are actually at war with the... <laughs> okay, perfect. Well, we'll just go siege all that then. 
That's funny. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Let's bring his troops down here. You'll see to that. We're at 43%. This guy just sieging this is going to give us a lot of points here. You're at six counties away from the Byzantine Empire title? Oh, that's awesome. You're almost there. Stormy Snow, I know you can do it. I know you can do it. And we're going to have so many people in jail. It's going to be great. We're just going to force everyone to just swap their religion. It's going to be perfect. And then also pay us. Because we need some money. Because I like having some spare money. He's going to ransom a lot of people, too. Some chip perk. Fearful troops to make them cheaper. We'll just get it so our vassals give us more money. Okay. Arrival? You see, the problem with being a rival, though... Is, um, yeah. <laughs> Problem with being our rival, no. You gotta go. Alright, so anyone else that we end up capturing, because these guys that I let go were from that other war, uh, any other people we end up getting from capturing, we're gonna have to go and swap their religion. Good job. Even during a war, even during a war, he went and changed their uh, their culture. It's good. Down here to Trent. That's sorted. Have we not sorted out this guy yet? I thought we were murdering him, no? Hmm. When to murder him, what's our chance? Like, infinite. Perfect. <laughs> Let's go take him out. Right, let's go take out this guy. He's really bad, and I don't need him, uh... Oh my good gracious, okay. That's literally his spy master. Perfect. I don't need him making our life harder here. He's forced himself into being, uh, the Chancellor, and we need the Chancellor to actually be pretty good at the job. To have people like us, so, you know down there. See that as well. Deal. Information brokering. <gasps> Truth. Yes. Learn the details of the unknown secret. Teach me, teach me what's going on. Oh my gosh, she just lied to get 300 bucks. That's fine. <laughs> How dare she? But also, eh. Yonder. Literally stop it. Oh my gracious. She's literally been cheating. She hasn't had a single child with him. Oh no, she did have one. Okay. Phew. Fecund. No giantism now. Only fecund. Sister, seriously, stop it. Just go home, but stop it. <laughs> gracious. Good gracious. Our sister is just an absolute nightmare of a wife. I feel so bad for that guy that we carefully picked for her. I negotiate ransom. You can go so long as. We want to ran uh, recruit him? Nah. This Duke? Ah, oh, you're pretty good. A family, a familial kinslayer. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you killed... You, who'd you kill? So the member of his extended family. I don't know. Well, rip that person. Right, some slow changes to religion. Or 50% in this war. Okay, so what happens if we white peace? If you white peace, everyone who revolted against me has a crime. And they're not allowed to join factions for five years and I can start putting them in prison. However, crime allows you to rightfully in prison. Crime allows you to rightfully in prison. So I guess we can if it's a white piece. And we might. We might just white piece this. We'll see how it goes with the sieging. If it's going to take forever with sieging, we'll do that. Look 
Get them trying to do some sieges here and there. I think they have some territory, yeah? Occupied counties, yeah. Alright. Oh, we need a new steward. Best I can get. 24? Oh, our uncle? Nice. Get in there. Get her done. Get her done. It's Duke. Oh yeah, we haven't decided what we wanted to do with him. Marys can get married. Our son McHugh needs to get married, and Galaxy Brain needs to get married, so we really need to go sort that out soon. Imprison her. <laughs> Start doing more imprisoning soon. Have to do some more lists of imprisoning. Really just gotta get this done. More than anything else, just gotta get that sorted. Ah, here we go. Teach that all the way. Lower these troops, because you don't need them on the island. <laughs> Pop them on over here. Uh, and we'll just move this pile to here. Since that's the one that's taking the longest to siege. Uh, so long as they're not sieging the capital, we're fine. Or the capital over here. We're fine. Book expired? Okay. Yes? Oh, you got the Byzantine Empire? Nice! Well done, Stormy Snow. Very nicely done. You can finally hand everything over to your son, uh, then make him independent, and then you can commit suicide. Oh my gracious. You can finally stop being a merchant republic. Congrats. Right, let's warp speed a bit here. So we're waiting for very slow sieges. Are they going to try and counter siege this, or no? They just really aren't doing much counter sieging at all, huh? Orberg. Yeah, I saw that was a thing that they took, but it doesn't feel like it's that important for us to grab. Some days left. Yeah, we've almost got this one. How's this? Four months. Almost in four months. Jeez. Oh, invalid. The war's over. <laughs> okay. He died. Well, there you go. That's that. Done. Easy peasy. Okay. Uh, your mental calendar is all kinds of off. So you're thinking it was Saturday. Oh, you thought it was Saturday morning? Oh, no. Oh, no, Viper's Rude. No. No, no. It's 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 Thursday night. It's Friday morning. <laughs> oh, noes. Oh, hopefully that doesn't mess with you waking up in the morning. That's right. It's Friday the 13th today. Oh! <gasps> Sadness, you're right. Friday the 13th on 2020? Oh, boy. Yeesh. Ugh. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, what's going on, Ice Mage? Uh, your motto is, The Dragon Follows the Dagger. Oh my goodness. Because that's how you expand your power? That's amazing. I like that motto. That is a strong motto. Oh no, what happened to this man? Did he just <gasps> die? Oh no. Looks like we need a new chancellor. Looks like my son, Prince Thrust McHuge, is the top tier contender. Oh, I mean, there are actually three people who have it, but I'd rather give it to my son than anyone else. He's in charge of getting that sorted. How's this work? Integrate this county. Not just your drift. Don't understand how this thing works. Just just make our vassals hate us less. That'd be great, thanks. Make my vassals hate me less. That would be great, thanks. I get some more control. Months on that. Then instead of sleeping, you're drinking you're drinking coffee and starting to play CK3. Oh my goodness, Viper's Breed. Oh my goodness. Well Calls were made. Maybe it was the right call. It was the call you needed, you know? Maybe it's exactly what you needed today. Right, and money. And money. And money. Let's keep ourselves topped off. <laughs> as you do. Alright, so then it just means we're going to go back to ordering people to change their religion. So that they can help us remove all this scourge that we have in here. Look at all this orthodox in here, too. I thought that was, like, I, th I thought that was gone. I thought orthodox was just out of here. Nope. 
we got to get ourselves to be nice and proper Catholic again. And then once we have more piety, which will probably end up having to be on their next character. A little fervor's going up, so that's pretty good. We're at 57 now. <laughs> it's a little bit better here. If we go by height of fervor, uh, it's, it's okay. Well, it's still the lowest out of everyone. All right, so there's zero counties on a lot of these. Good. Orthodox at 70. 72. They're really fighting. And I think we have most of the Cath uh, Catharism. I wonder if there's any Waldensian left. In our territory. Do we have any Waldensian left in our territory? Or is that gone? I don't think there's any Waldensian left in our lands. I think we've cured it. We've got some Lollard here. <laughs> That's no good. How many Lollards are there? It's gotta be like next to none, right? Oh, one. Okay, so there's only one county of Lullard left. Right, so we'll try and get that one, you know, crushed. So I guess Waldensian isn't our problem. That's someone else's. I don't see it, though. Hmm. Hmm. What are these guys? They've got their religion all sorted. <laughs> it's nice. Gracious. Uh, Zelda, you've gone from a court of uh, from a count in Bohemia to having everything from Bavaria to Novgorod. What? Uh, from Transylvania to Norway, all uh, all with your dynasty, all the Eastern Europe and Scandinavia answers to your call. <gasps> Habsburgs eat your heart out. So what you're telling me is you've got this territory here, right? This is your territory. This is the territory you got. He said all the way up to Norway, so maybe not Finland. Like, this space here. That's really good. That's better than what we're doing right now. Uh, if we can actually sort out this space here. If we can get this space here and take out Pomerania. If we can just, like, absorb all of standard Europe, not including the Iberian Peninsula. Right? I'd be pretty happy with that. And then, of course, <laughs> then we gun for the Isles. We take the Isles. Um, let's see. So, so yeah. All right. So, since we're at a pretty good stopping point here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and stop here. Uh, looks like our our young granddaughter Uta is ready for a for a man. Go find an albino uh, giant man for her. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and stop the stream here. Uh, I think we did pretty good progress. Justice. Um, we'll be back again on Monday. Uh, there won't be a stream this Saturday. Uh, I've got real-life things that need to get done on Saturday, so there won't be a stream Saturday. But we'll be back on Monday, in two, uh, Monday Tuesday, for um, Mountain Blade Bannerlord. So we'll be playing that Monday, Tuesday. And we'll be, we'll be back for more Crusader Kings 3 on Wednesday, Thursday. Um, let's go see if we can find someone playing this amazing game. Who's playing this game that we can go and give a raid to? Who can we go give a raid to here? There's a small streamer floating around. And I see two streamers we've raided in the past that are currently playing. Uh, we'll go ahead and give Hanson a raid. We haven't raided him in a bit. When we raided Longclaw, I think, last week? But Hanson hasn't been raided in a while. Let's go give him a raid. Right, let's jump in there. Let's give him a bunch of support. I'll hang out and chat for a smidgen as well. But then I'll need to jump out to go to bed. All right. Take care, everyone. See you guys in, oh man, days. <laughs> See you guys in a couple of days. See you in the brand new week. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.